Yo, yo, it is the Panda of Pandemonium. As you can see, we got the rest of the crew here. Uh, our D&D guest, Deron. We got Rod. We got Vocab. Missing Jay right now, so we're waiting on him. We are here. We are in full effect. Uh, gentlemen, how's the week been? How's everything been going for you? Good night. Man, can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. No complaints. Sounds like a good week to me. Sounds like a good week to me. Um, we are, as you all know, we are going to be playing some D&D today. Hopefully, hopefully we're still waiting on Jay. But for now, let's get up a couple uh, couple things. Uh, uh, wow. You mentioned Zelda. Oh, yeah. It's coming out next yeah. Friday. Mm-hmm. Tears of the Kingdom. Probably the most anticipated Switch game since the original Breath of the Wild. Yeah. People definitely. have been waiting, waiting for it. I'm going to get it Friday. Myself, I'm okay. doing digital. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Last time I did on um, physical, but I didn't know how the store drives worked back then. So mm-hmm. I got Breath of the Wild. And I enjoyed it. That was my first, that was the first Zelda game I ever beat. So I'm really interested in to see where the story goes. They had okay. A, they so had it a, is canon? Yeah, it's a sequel. This yeah, this is the first sequel since I think Majora's Mask. Gotcha. First sequel since Majora's Mask. A lot of people have been excited to see what the next step is, the way the game ended. It ended on kind of a good note, too, with um they defeated Ganon. Mm-hmm. But from the trailers and everything, it looks like Ganondorf is involved somehow, some way. They're going as I'm not a the biggest Zelda lore person, but gotcha. They're going into the sky. It's a messy gimmick. So they're going into the sky, to the sky kingdoms, I guess. I know this was like a Skyward Sword game a couple of years back. Okay. Maybe that's maybe some references to that game, but people seem excited. I mean, I took the day off from work because I want to play it myself. Probably do some other okay. things, but it should be fun. I mean, people have been happy to have the Switch OLEDs that just came out about two, three weeks ago. Okay. So I was telling people like, if you haven't gotten a Switch net yet, get it before Zelda come out because there's probably gonna be a little bit of a shortage because people probably just coming back for Zelda or upgrading the switches everyone. to the OLED. I can see that. Uh so if people are trying to find like fine copies of the OLED version. Yeah, I can see that because I mean the switch is almost six, seven years old at this point, but I mean it's still going strong. Gotcha, gotcha. No, no, understandable. And actually, I got on the background just some playthrough uh, that they've got as of right now from Ooh. Nintendo America. Uh, so you all can kind of see a few, just as we're talking about it, a little bit of how that looks. Yeah, they got some so. new features, but it is pretty much they got some new gimmicks in here with Link. Mm-hmm. I mean, horse riding, that was kind of fun. Once you, once you figured out how to get a horse in Breath of the Wild, oh my god, that changed. How you moved in that game? Oh my goodness, it was like night and day. What you got? I bet I remember it because I, I played it. I think I actually played it with uh, Duran. He was the one who showed it to me mm-hmm. at first because I'm not a huge Zelda fan at all. I never have been. Like I have respect for the the game and the history behind it. It's just I never got into it. It's one of those that I missed, you know. Um. But when he showed it to me, he didn't have the horse yet at the time. But just like this part, this uh, this whole climbing thing with the the gay fatigue gauges, I was like, mm-hmm. where? Who would have thought of that? Like, I never would have thought of that in a game. It's something we're spoiled with gaming wise. We're spoiled. Oh yeah, with- endurance. Like you can just do whatever you want without worrying about your physical strength or anything like that. And that was the whole key with they say this is the new gimmick. You can hit the mm-hmm. items, and then you go up, up, and up, and up, and up to the sky. So that's uh, the new thing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And even people are going to have fun with this. Like One of the new abilities is you can make your own items. You can make your own cars, your mm-hmm. own gliders. I think even in a demo here, they're going to show you how to make a boat. If you watch this whole um, presentation, uh-huh. they show you how to make a boat with the new power. Oh, wow. So you're gonna probably if you saw how creative people were in the first game, yeah, yeah. So people are gonna get creative. You're gonna see some creative stuff, but that's the main reason I'm like looking forward to this. People, there's some creative folks out there. I wish I could stream this, but 
I'm not a Zelda person. So I probably wouldn't be the person to stream with this, honestly. Look, it's about playing the game. Because, like, yeah. trust me, as many people as I've seen play different games, especially, like, platformers, I mean, you're going to die. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things that's going to happen in those games. So, honestly, I, I shoot, if you if you enjoy the game, that's what it's about. Bottom line. Because um, I know good and well in August, like you all are talking about this one now, in August when Armored Core drops, I'm taking the day off. Like, I don't do that often for a game. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you there. But for that one, I'm taking a day off. Elden Ring creators are remaking. This is probably one of my top two games of all time is Armored Core, the Armored Core series, and then, of course, Tekken, right? And those are also are games that are like, they define my childhood If I by any two games. It's funny, we talked talked about that last week, uh, or two weeks ago, and I forgot all about it at the time, because the game hasn't been out since PS2, Armored Core. Yeah, mm. I, don't think it's been, I don't think we've had one since PS2, maybe early PS3. That's it. And we've, we've got two series, what, two systems since then? So I'm um, I'm stupid excited for for that. I'm super excited uh, for those to come out. Um uh, wait, did they announce the speaking of game? Did they announce the release date for Tekken 8 yet? I do not believe we have. No, not yet. Let me double check here. But I don't I don't remember seeing anything here. Because I know Street Fighter is June. I know Street Fighter is June. Street Fighter is June. They're talking about early 2024, late 2023. So no oh. actual oh, okay. date yet. That probably, yeah. probably a stealth like Christmas date, launch. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. It it would make sense, although well, next year is 2024. Is there anything else that's coming out 2entyfour though? That I thought they maybe Call of Duty, but that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, Nintendo hasn't released anything outside of 2024. I know Pokemon has an expansion pack coming out, I think, early spring, too. So let's see here. Well, I'm thinking movie wise, right? Movie and so, wise? In, movie wise, they're saying like Deadpool, Wicked, Joker, Godzilla versus King Kong. Uh, hopefully Gladiator they got the. Two. I mean, we got the writer strike going on too, so I know Blade already got writer right. got affected with that. That's gonna Blade got affected. Yeah, Blade definitely got affected. Half the Thunderbolts got affected by it too. Um, oh, I know about Thunder. Damn, I was looking yep. forward to that one too. Thunderbolts got affected by it. I don't know if they're gonna do what they're gonna do with Captain America, or if that's gonna be affected or not. Um, I'm Depending pretty sure they're... Sonic will. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty well, sure Sonic will. Blade, yeah, we know that one. No, I know they have the Knuckles spinoff coming out soon. That's probably already finished. Someone said they get the. I them. doubt it. I doubt that's finished. But no, you're right though. Yeah, that one's coming out too. Um, yeah, but see here. Shout out to the writers because pay them writers. That's I'll keep it simple. Pay them writers what they owe. Just, pay them. Just pay them. Just pay them. I don't. So as as someone and you as well as someone who writes, right? <laughs> the pun um but as somebody who writes it's interesting to know that we're still having this issue on the professional level that we're trying to get to you know what i mean mm -hmm. like we i know we were talking about it with the whole voice acting thing and like all these studios and um these production companies getting paid x amount of dollars but the mm -hmm. voice artists are being you know they're being penny and dimed um and to see that the writers are also having that same issue like the whole entertainment industry at this point just needs an overall because the money's clearly not going to the people who are the creative minds that are giving us the entertainment the money's not going where it needs to go like, how can you expect someone to keep giving you epic content and y'all don't want to pay them? Exactly. You know, know, some of these dudes that were talking about not being able to even pay their rent. And I'm like, hold up. How are you a Hollywood writer? And you can't pay. I don't care if it is in California. And you can't pay your rent, though. 
No. You know what I mean? And then I, I don't know if you guys follow Ches what's her name? Francesca Ransby. She used to be a writer, like she's a prominent female um black um writer. Uh, she huh. had someone one of my Facebook group posted something she posted the other day. She was like, someone was working on FX, um, one of the newest shows. Um, I think it was called The Bear. Uh -huh. They only made five thousand dollars for one season. Like, right. I mean, I like, and you know, good and well, people are there, the industry is making way more off of it. And now, oh, yeah. I, and I understand the whole. I do understand the piece about they're saying that numbers are kind of skewed due to streaming services and online. But even if it's viewed through a streaming service, you have a way of recording it, which means you have a way mm -hmm. of monetizing it. You know what I mean? It something's got to give. There's got to be some type of royalty kickback because people are watching these things now. After 10, 20 years, okay. I can understand it. You know what I mean? But that first at least initial 10 years that you got something, I mean, if, if you write a book, it is in it is legally yours. If I'm not mistaken, the copyright is till so many years after your death. That sounds right. When you write. You know About what I mean? Years. Years, yeah, there's so many years there's a lot death. of Disney characters almost it's a, it's a public domain now. Right. right. That are just now going to public. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, are the writers selling their scripts to the producers? Because if they are, then that's one thing, right? Which means they need to contract, they need to be paying attention to their contracts, just like the, all right, cool, just like the vocal artists do. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to pay attention to your contract if that's the case. But if it's contractually in there, and most of these, most of the writers are unionized, which means there is a contract in place for the work that they do. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Like I was watching, what was I watching? Um, no, I was in a Facebook. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I was in a Facebook group for Abbott Elementary. People were getting mad at um Queen Anna Benson, the writer, because uh -huh. because like why is she picketing? Like she's like, how come I still ain't writing, writing the show? Like she's a union writer. She got to be on strike exactly. too. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody. Uh, what was it? Neil Gaiman, the the writer of Sandman. And for those who don't know, we're doing good. Appreciate you swinging by. Good. Um. The writer of Sandman, that book has been out for forever, first off. Like, Neil Gaiman has a dedicated following, straight up. And the fact that he's picketing still, you know what I mean? Because he's part of the union. He's like, no, I honor what everybody's going through. This is ridiculous. And he, him also seeing it on this side, because now the show, Sandman is a show. Because before it was, uh, it was the novel... And then it went, you know, it, was graphic, it was a graphic novel, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Um, and, but it, it's like, it's thick as, thick as hell, bro. Like, the story is amazing. The show does not do it justice, hands down. The, the show for Sandman, as good as it is, does not even do the, the storyline justice. But you can say that for a lot of book series, too. A lot of, oh, books yeah, series, definitely. Book series, like, like that, that's probably one of the main reasons they're doing that Harry Potter reboot. Outside of you know the actors not want to do it anymore, mm -hmm. it just makes logical sense to just reboot. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's yep. a logic. It's a logic thing. Like, even like I know one of my favorite shows is Law and Order: Organized Crime, and they're only having thirteen episodes. But and I'm thinking they were probably preparing ahead for the writer strike. That's just a very that's possible. Show. I want a lot of script heavy shows. I won't be surprised to have lesser episodes this year. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Even Abbott said they might. They, I know. I'll use Abbott as an example because I'm just in a good Facebook group with a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Oh, you're good. So they usually have 22. I won't be surprised they're down to 18. I won't be surprised you like every see, every show. I mean, yeah, you got to stop where you where you got the content for, you know. And if they, depending on how long it takes for them to to get this strike, you know, to come to a compromise. My thing is, I've never understood why. I know the reason for the strike, and I understand the, the need for strikes mm -hmm. on the union side, right? That part is not what I'm negating in any capacity, first off. Mm -hmm. But on the company side, you all, yes, you have a, a bottom line to deal with. But if you know, and these companies know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Bottom if line. you know you're raking somebody over the coals. Just pay them what they worth. Exactly, it's not that hard. I mean, to go on it on a different side of a spectrum here for just for a second here. 
um, NBA. NBA just signed a, another another. They just renewed their um, labor negotiations. I think they just renewed maybe two weeks ago. If I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And then I think for so like another ten year deal. Most of the sports yeah. leagues are almost ten years deal at this point. It's easier for them to do the TV money things like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think the TV contracts and NBA I think are up either this next year actually. So that's why they got the labor negotiation. Uh, right, 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 right. Right before that, we get the TV money and the way some of these NBA players. You don't want some of these guys on a lot. Not, not now, because they sort of oh, yeah. smoke that LeBron, Chris Paul, and them did back <laughs> when the last time they almost had a strike. Like it was LeBron and them that really prevented them from going on strike last time. That was the big. That was the big key, kicker there, mm-hmm. because the the big dogs were at the table, and the union yeah. said we're gonna put the big dogs at the table. They're gonna listen to the big dogs. They're not gonna listen to right. to the to like they'll listen to Chris Paul. Right. They might they will listen to LeBron James, but they're not gonna listen to. I'll use Giannis just because it's easy. Like he right. he ain't there. that big dog yet. He ain't that big dog right. yet. Like you put Giannis and maybe. What's the other dude? Luca, the dude from Denver. I can't think of the dude's name right now, but uh, Jokic. Bring, Jokic, there you go. Yeah, you're not gonna bring them to the negotiating table, but you bring no. LeBron James, Chris Paul, and and Dwayne Wade. That's a whole different story. See, and that's the that's the thing I'm not getting be, with 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 a writers guild. Like that's what's blowing my mind. This is the writers guild, which means ninety percent of the people you got. Are the big dogs? Who else is giving you content? Mm. Every show you have coming out, every movie you have coming. We're talking about Disney writers. We're you know what I'm we're talking about Marvel writers. We're mm. talking about people who for Netflix are producing all of their biggest shows. With like, I think Netflix when they started doing when they opened their own like studio basically and started diverting that pathway mm-hmm. of you know hey we're going to get our own series you know what I'm saying forget everybody else we'll still do those but we're going to that's when they really started i think growing like they wanted to is when they started having their own individualized Netflix only series Bridgerton mm-hmm. for example you know what i mean stuff like that like those are like building cult followings to a degree and y'all telling me y'all don't want to pay the people who's writing them for you? Like, we understand that those people are coming from other places that were disenfranchised in one area, so they came to Netflix, right, to get their stories put out there. But mm-hmm. if y'all are also not going to uphold the reason why they left, what makes you think they're not going to walk away from y'all? Exactly. It's that simple. Like, yeah. when, it comes, when it comes to labor disputes, I'm always on the union side. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I... I so I remember growing up watching the NBA and like I couldn't under I didn't get it as a kid. I'm like, okay, why are they like I didn't get I was kind of signing with the owner because I just want my games back. I don't care, like mm-hmm. I don't care, I just want my games back. But growing up and learning about some of this labor, this oh yeah. Key point, this is why education is important in school because we need to learn about shit like this. But oh yeah. But like with going back to the writer stuff, like these writers are producing all this content. Put it to you like this. This is gonna put you do a little history lesson here. The last time the writers went on strike, what shows got very popular very fast? Think of three shows that got very popular very fast about ten years. Oh, and that was what? Was it twenty thirteen? You know, like doing about 20, 2010, 2012, around there. It, yeah, it's been a little while since they had a strike. Think about what shows were big. Think about what shows got big. Reality TV that got big because they didn't need writers for reality, TV. right? Because they didn't, you don't need a writer, okay? Yeah, oh, eight, you know, seven, oh, eight. Yep, yeah, that's when The Apprentice got big. That's when that's how that show got big. Yep. See, see the domino effect that happened with that, but we ain't gonna go into that. Go into that, right? That's a domino, but honestly, just pay the writers what they oh, especially. And I didn't know they were not getting paid for streaming, that just seems kind of obvious. Yeah. Just, those, those like it's like certain amount. My understanding is that they they get a certain amount contractually, uh, but I guess the argument was that due to pirating or other things like that, there's no way to accurately guarantee that. And I was like, I get that, I respect that. But my thing is, you have ev- everyone under the sun has their own streaming site now: Netflix, Paramount, HBO Max, uh, Hulu. You know what I'm saying? If you're if you're on a platform, that platform is getting paid. Whether it's through ad revenue for it being on there or from their particular um, fees, right? 
mm-hmm. if a person watches a show or a movie on that platform, they deserve to get paid. They deserve to be monetized in some, I don't care, how, whatever the increment is. If, for example, let's say they make $50 off of a movie being watched on Hulu, right? Between the uh, the membership, the ad revenue, and whatever else they may have, right? Let's just say they get they get paid fifty dollars per movie that gets watched. Of that fifty, the the production company they should get something out of that, right? Because they made the movie, of mm-hmm. course. So oh, let's obviously. say let's say thirty percent of it goes to them, right? Because all we're doing is streaming it. So let's say thirty percent goes to the production company. Of that thirty percent. At least twenty five percent of that of that twenty five percent of that thirty percent total, right? Oh, I see where right. you're going with that one. Okay, I see. I wouldn't have thought of that yeah. one, but you know what I mean. Like if they're getting thirty percent of the fifty, then of that thirty percent, twenty five percent of that thirty percent should go to the writer. Because without them, you still you don't have anything. Yo, what up? What up? How's it going? Appreciate you swinging by. What up? What up? But I mean that's that's just my take on it. You know, like there's got there's a way to monetize everything. You you give an, give somebody an Excel, Excel spreadsheet. There's a way to ca- calculate it all. Oh yeah. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's a given. It can be done. It's just people are getting lazy and not wanting to do the work. Exactly. Or they're trying to keep they cut larger than what needs to be. Same with any company for the most part unfortunately. People no longer do ethical business. It's sad about sad the dollars. Sad facts. It's sad but true. Like you know, some of these places they they just rip people off. Honestly, like I forgot who TikTok I was following. I was following like I I don't know I don't know if I still follow this TikTok or not, but I remember mm-hmm. I've stumbled my for you page, stumbled along to a writer, and he literally went over his residual checks and the mm-hmm. amounts were discussed. He was like, "Oh, episode of Martin, I only got fifty cents for that." They yep. literally sent him Damn. a check for fifty cents. I'm like, "Yep." The, the paper costs more than what he wrote. And do you know how, first off, everybody's been to school here. How long yeah. did it take y'all back in the day to write a five-page paper? Five, now five, it's different, right? We adults now. But back then, yeah. how long Actually, did it take y'all to write a five-page two paper? Two hours, maybe. Maybe two, two hours, hours, right? And, and that's on the short end, right? Some people, depending on how your mind works, it could take you the day. To write right. a five-page Sometimes. paper. Depend, depending on what the topic is, yeah. Right, depending on the topic, right. If it's something that you liked, okay, cool. You know, maybe half the day if you don't get sidetracked, a couple hours. But otherwise, it might take you a day. That's one day of your life. If I'm getting paid by the hour, depending on how much I feel my life is worth, that's a day <laughs> of my life that I, I got paid 50 cent for. Right. So I'm worth 50 cent for 24 hours of my life? Right. My mm-hmm. essence? My... I. I ate more than 50, 50 cent worth of stuff that day. Hell yeah. Yep, you know what man. I mean? My water bill was more than 50 cent that day. Yeah. <laughs> and water is what, 20 bucks a month? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, it's disgusting. Like, and I get it too. Like, you got to pay the writers. I mean, I mean, do we all want to watch The Apprentice? Do we all want to watch Love at the Lockup all the time? Do we all want to watch. Yeah. Okay, she but you were but... <laughs> 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 but yes, I mean for no... some people that is all they need. Yes, this is true. However, for the vast majority of us, <laughs> we need a little bit of diversity. <laughs> like, oh, you know, now I'm thinking about something. I'm thinking about some shows that got canceled recently, streaming wise. I know one of the ones I liked was on Pika's like Vampire Academy. I wonder if that got canceled because maybe. Like, I'm thinking a lot of these studios were anticipating okay, the writer's strike. Go. I, got I got you. I got you. Here's what I was going to do. Let's take a big one, right? Let's do a Marvel movie. Ooh. So I was looking through it, and they're in general. This is, again, this is general numbers. Uh, they say they earn about 32 k annually. Oh, okay, that's not bad. That's not too bad. No. No, 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 no. No, that's Wait, horrible. And- that's horrendous. Wait, wait. I'm 32. talking about. Is this wait? Is this just individual movies or just the in writer, her writer? Right, the writer okay. for the movie. Right, for like, let's say, I don't know, pick one. We'll say a bad one, Ant Man. Right. Okay. We'll say that he made thirty two thousand dollars that year as the writer for that movie. Right, 
average, like on the low end, average about between thirty two and fifty thousand dollars. Let's just say, okay. okay. At thirty two thousand, you're looking at about fifteen dollars an hour. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, at thirty two thousand. At fifty thousand, you're looking at what? About twenty. That's close to twenty two, twenty three. Right, twenty two, twenty three an hour. Okay. How much did Ant Man make? Let's do the math. Let's pull those numbers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Six twenty two million worldwide. Shoot, I would throw the right is about let's see, six twenty two worldwide. Going by twenty thirty percent. Let's do twenty thirty percent the way you said worldwide. That's, you see what well, I'm saying? Could, you could throw them something on the back end. Like you could toss them a cool at least a cool hundred K a year. Right. Hey, 50, you yeah, see 50 what I'm K saying? Year you. Yeah, like I said, especially if you're waiting multiple movies, like, <laughs> like that's thirty two thousand per every movie you're on, then I get that. They're not gonna spend every day writing one movie every day. See, I was well, thinking about it a different think about way. It. How long would it take you? Would it take you to write? Think about you yourself. How long would it take you to write a novel? If that's all you're doing, eight, let's say eighty to hundred, let's say a hundred thousand words. How long do you think it would take you to write that? If that was your job, probably two, three. Probably I would say six months. Probably probably take me six months. Six months to write it. Now the editing process. You know what? I didn't factor in the editing. You got a point there. Then the rewrite. Then oh. the edit from that rewrite. And then the next rewrite. Because you know you go through at least seven iterations of this. True. You see what I'm saying? You you spent a good year minimum on one story. To iron yeah. it out to that level. Right? Now, again, they have teams. So, you know, it's a little bit different than one person doing it themselves. Mm-hmm. But either way, you're telling me they made $622 million, and I understand because I'm sure people are going to be like, well, what about, you know, the production costs and all of that? Okay, cool. If I say Ant-Man 2, let me see here. They said they made $622 million worldwide during the entire run. Ant-Man 2 production costs. Let's see here. They budgeted a hundred. The budget was 195 top dial, top side million. Oh, so the 622 million, 195 of that was budget for making the movie. Yeah, you made your money back. You definitely made your money back. They quadrupled, quintupled their movie back. Mind you, budget includes what they paid writers. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, that should be a separate expense. You got that, it. You that, see what I'm that, saying? <laughs> that should be a separate expense, like the back end, because if the actors are getting back in on, and that's another, I don't know how they'll throw right. that in there. Because so yeah. actors, and so the get actors the back are end. getting more money than the writer. How is that? It's like it, to me, it's the, it's the same principle as the lawyer gets paid more money than the teacher. Pause. I taught you how to do this. How are you making more money than me? Because without me, there is no you. Exactly. And every culture in this world, literally every country in the world, the teachers are paid more than most professions. Most, not all, of course. But right. more. You know what I mean? We spend yeah. more, and this was also as of years ago, we spend 18% more on education yearly as this as a country than every other company country in the world. Yet at the same time, we're like at the bottom percentage of educated countries. Right. It makes it, it's it makes no sense. Where's the money going? No, no, it's going no into logic education, to but it's not going to educate. That makes total sense. That makes total sense, man. Like that's something like I've been kind of looking at this writer strike thing, and I'm just like. I mean, if it just pay them what you owe, like it's not that hard. Like it can be, it's just basic, base. I can say basic accounting, but it's just basic figures, like we were just talking about earlier. It's just basic figures. 
if that is how we're going to do everything because you can break it down a couple of ways here. Like I said, MMA 625. You mean you can't tell me you can break, have a block of like maybe $5 million up front for a fighter's split and then maybe like a certain present, maybe whatever the decision was, maybe you get 200 bucks every or maybe a thousand bucks a month, like a residual. And this isn't even royalties. This is just the initial theatrical run. I don't know if that's the only thing that's you see what I'm saying? Right. Um, that 622 was just the theatrical run. Box office. That's not the the the, the video sales, the merchandise sales, the if there's a video game spinoff sales. None of that. None of that. What up, Jay? How you feeling? Yeah, I was just waiting for y'all. We were in a good discussion waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the writer strike and everything. What's going on? Yeah, that's what we're talking yeah. about. No, don't, don't speak on strikes because I'm, I'm, man, look. Don't say less. Hold on. Man. We pro, uh, uh, so we're pro, we're pro, we're pro union over here. We're all pro union. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm trying to find me the perfect wallpaper for the day, y'all. Give me one second. Ah, you good, you good. You good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like that's the, I mean, that's the thing. So the fact that uh, of the if you think about the number of people in Hollywood that are making money off of Hollywood, without the writers, there is no Hollywood. Exactly. Like look what show stopped immediately. Look what show stopped immediately once the race right. Late night television, oh, yeah. Saturday Night Live, they stopped immediately, instantly. Instantly, <clears throat> y'all lucky Matt TV ain't back on the air. Man, listen, there's been some rights, there's been some rights, there's been some rights already. <laughs> oh, look, already now. Now, I will say this, and I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it. This is also an opportunity for those who are not unionized. Oh, I've been seeing Twitter threads about that. Uh-uh. I've been seeing since you, you know, know what I mean. Like, are like, nope. If a, if a studio comes here, you're an author. Do not cross that line. Do that's what, and that's that the line. thing. They should not. They should not. But I'm not talking about studio. I'm talking about social media. Mm. So if you are again not unionized, however, you have an idea that can be an entertaining idea possibly right that you want to put together yourself and put out there yourself right now is the perfect time to interject your brand of entertainment into the world why because the mainstream brands are all on hold which means people need something to look at you see what i'm saying right Ooh, I'm not saying know, in any way disregard anything that's going on with the union and the writers guild, right? That is a hundred. I got a hundred percent respect for that. But we also got to find a way to get our name out there, right? So if you can put your own material on your social medias, right? If people are not watching the regular stuff right now. There's more eyes on other places where they can get their entertainment. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. we know this world runs on entertainment. And you know some people will take the will take the money and cross that line. Some will, and they should not. They should not. And but this can be a way to get your following. So that way, when that union that all the contracts are back together for the writers guild and the unions, it you're now in a in a more prominent position to make a deal with a producer if that if that opportunity comes up you know what i'm saying a, no i get that like if i was someone like if i had a series or something in mind and i knew someone to write it like hey i got this idea i know you guys are on strike i don't want to i don't want to step on any toes now can i just submit this idea and then have as like a negotiating for it i want you to write mm. contract i wouldn't even i wouldn't even put it i would not even put it out there. i literally would do like a dragon ball z a bridge and put it out myself on youtube Oh, oh, well, Team Four Star Star. Okay, you I see what see. I'm saying? I'm gonna put my stuff out there because they're not watching TV, so they're gonna go to YouTube. They're not watching TV, so they're gonna go to you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To TikTok. 
Hey, Monty, how's it going? But What's they're going to go somewhere else. Yeah. It's just basically that um, is, this is a divergence of attention, mm -hmm. right? And so because the attention is no longer on mainstream television movies because the writers are currently not writing, there are no shows. The people are going to look for something else to catch their attention. And if you've got something that will hold their attention, that's gonna put. That's gonna give you that niche. Mm -hmm. Mama calling back. Oh, fall from fall. You know, so it's not. It's not a. It's not a negative per se, but it's just making the best of a bad situation. Right. Right. So, definitely. Just. Just a thought process. Thought process. Yeah, just some. Yeah, something to think about because honestly, mm -hmm. you look at some of your favorite shows are gone, and then think about streamers. Streamers, mm -hmm. if they're gonna, if they're not doing that, they may go watch streams now. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, they may go watch something. There you go. So you never know. Just let's just pray these writers get what they want. And we can get our shows back. Let's just, pray. let's just pray for them. Like I said, I'm right. I'm That's what I'm hoping them. for. I'm I'm what they want them to get their money because they deserve it. Especially and especially like I said, this is the position that I aspire to have at some point in the near future. You know what I mean? Is a a, a production writer, production level writer, personally for my own universe is what I would prefer. Oh, That's the say, goal. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to write my own universe of stuff that rivals Marvel. Um, because it's gonna happen, just letting y'all know that now ahead of time. That's going to happen in the next five years. <laughs> just giving y'all the heads up. <laughs> just giving y'all the heads up. Yeah, um, but that is that's that's to know that the people at the level I'm trying to get to are still not being given they they flowers early. They say they're not giving they just dues. That's not cool. Like who wants to look at? Hey, I want to be a firefighter, and then you realize firefighters don't make jack. Uh, you gotta, especially some you know them, what I mean. Like you can get the six figures, but you want to be there at least 10, 20 years at, at that level. So if it's not something mm -hmm. you really love doing, am yeah, I, with, am I, am I am I, exactly? And don't get me wrong, it's not about being a millionaire, but it's, it's you still want to do what you love doing and be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all, what it's about. I mean, that's the goal in life. Like, exactly. find something you're good at, make decent money, you're good, you're comfortable, and you're happy. Exactly. That should be the goal. But unfortunately, that, that we're, we're not in a society like that. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Yeah. So just pray for the writers, keep them in your prayers and thoughts. We just hopefully we don't get like another apprentice situation. Let's just say like that. Or what happened to heroes? I mean, that's what must appear. Don't, don't oh, yeah, bring yeah. that up. Don't bring that up. <laughs> Howdy, isn't that when that last strike happened? Yep. Yes. Wow. Yes. And that's funny because <laughs> that's when I, bro, when I said that was like the show, like it's so uh, bad to the point. I thought about it one day and I got her to start watching it. Like we were actually. I'm not gonna lie, I still have not watched it. Neither. Yo. I, I heard what happened. I was like, I've heard great things. Yeah. I just haven't gotten around to it. For what? Thank you, dude. Heroes. What happened to Heroes? Yeah, I ain't watched yeah, it. That was a tragic. That was yeah. Like, yeah. I don't if you, that was like, if you I like anime, Heroes is just one of those shows, bro. It is. It, it is a great show. The story was like new, but it was really, really good. Oh well, yeah, Mary, well, Mary Jane. That's a good happened. point, Monty. That was another one that got canceled. Good point. First, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember it was a couple of heroes, ver like a couple of the shows, weren't there? Like, or, or was it like yeah, seasons like, with different names? There was like a main one and then a revival. A got you, got you. Yeah, hey, Mary Jane. Yeah, there's a couple hey, of shows that that were that, that heroes. That. that the other heroes is we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> it was. <laughs> Yeah, you don't really need to watch it. It's yeah, it's fine. Gotcha. Just gotcha. watch the first series, and when I said the villain and heroes was just, bro. It if you love anime, manga, comic books, yeah. you're gonna like heroes. You might not like it <laughs> most of most people. It's just the, <laughs> the it's just the way that they bought the powers in and the type of powers uh -huh. and the the the. I guess the you would say the, the not even that the limits of the powers. Like you have powers that uh -huh. will, that you will feel. Basically, my hero, my hero academia is what heroes would have been if it was an anime of sort. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. so just real okay. life, like a real life version of it before, but but not actually it. If I would, I would not. I don't know if I can say it like this, but think about it like this: 
if you wanted to um to put how everybody started discovering quirks, I think yeah. my I mean heroes would be uh, how my hero uh, academia started because okay. people just started getting out. It wasn't like it randomly um, happened. Yeah, stuff just started Ooh, happening. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Alphas, and some people had powers for you. Oh that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a good point. But well, um, point. how everybody been, man? Yeah, we good. We here, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Vocab, how are you? I'm I'm not good, and I don't know why you would disrespect me and put that backdrop. <laughs> I was waiting to say something. <laughs> what y'all? y'all- that is someone who has a dog in him. Jimmy Bowler has the dog in him. I'll tell you that. For y'all who don't know, as y'all do know, me and Vocab were the sports ones. I'm yes. a huge Miami fan, and he's a diehard Nick fan. That's a fact. Oh. And it's rare. It's rare that we mean the playoffs Ooh. like this. It's very rare. Hmm. What y'all did but when, just My honey said, calm, when, this, calm. when this man get on the court in the playoffs, just know he's not going to let it go easy. He that not. dude's on some demon time. Man, I said what he did in Milwaukee. Man, that was hey, a coach, but hey, hold on. Look, I'm gonna say this, and y'all gonna laugh. Y'all remember what they said about Jordan being his dad, possibly. Hey, he, he hey. Is looking like him more and more. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. but how about that Curry fifty though? Oh. Was sick though. Don't get me wrong. That Curry fifty was sick, <laughs> but it ain't gonna mean nothing. LeBron put him out. Now, you know, before we even started to locate, I was watching um the Boston and and Philly game. Yo, Boston got robbed low key of that last. No, shot. yeah, I was watching that. I, I don't. Like, I, I I believe it. I was, man. Like, I was like three one. I was like back in the day but, they would have counted that shot. I said like, back in hey, the day they would have counted hear, that shot. Hear me out though. I want Boston to win, and why I want Boston to win? Because if we win, that means me and Monty. Me and Monty got oh. to go at it again. Oh. That, that's our rival right there because she she's a Celtics fan and I'm a Heat fan. Yeah. We, we had a rival going on for a little while. <laughs> we we got to make up. What was that last year they put us out? Oh, we got to make up for that. Mm. I don't know. Miami has, has oh, a puncher's okay. chance. They're that puncher's chance. Too. Yeah, they do got a puncher's chance. Hey man, I wouldn't I wouldn't be super surprised. Yeah, Jimmy. I mean, yeah, you can't like, count Jimmy out anymore. Like if someone's in Miami I got to the NBA finals this year, I wouldn't even be surprised. Like no, it's two two now. They they lost that game. You know, the uh the game where um MB got his MVP finally, well deserved, well deserved. But the game oh, where he got it, they they, they 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 didn't do so good. <laughs> no, James Harden looked like he had PCSD from something. I ain't never seen him play that bad in my life. James Harden is I don't, he's he's starting to be one of them players like when he's hot, be oh, afraid. Yeah, when he's yeah, not, yeah. just okay. just walk around. I'm about to throw a reference. You know who James Harden was reminding me of that whole game? I'm about to – both guys are going to hate me for saying this, but he was reminding me of John Starks back in the day. Oh, Lord. James, James Harden, Harden, the way he was playing in, on the other game, on game three. Give me some John Stark it. vibes. I can like, see it. I can see it. I was like, am I watching it. James Harden? Am I watching John Starks? I'm like, I was getting 1984 well, uh, flashbacks. Wow. Well. I have a question. Um, y'all know this new app that came about recently called Timu? Yes. So I went on there, I bought some things, and it's something I bought that was very, very interesting. And I got it just to collect it. Yes, and y'all know I'm a huge Yu Gi Oh fan. Right. I'm going to show y'all what I got. So they actually had on there the anime edition of the Yu Gi Oh cards. Oh, hold on, I gotta turn off this this back screen first because it's not gonna show. Give me one second. Yeah, it's not. Let me turn it off. Are you going WNBA? Yeah, take it off. I, I don't think I don't think I'm, I'm gonna be able to make that because uh, some stuff came up. Yeah, I think but, I think me I think we're gonna probably check out a Chicago. Ooh, hold up. Hey, blue eyes right there. Let's Ooh. let's pull that up here. Hold up. Okay. Okay, oh, that's pretty cool. And it's a hundred pieces, so it's like all the cards you remember from the original Ooh. series is in this set. And like oh, I'm gonna get pretty cool, and I'm gonna sleeve them. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just put like my favorite cards out first, you know. Yeah, it sure. makes sense. Of of course, you you. Oh, I gotta show you the back. Person. Like this is this is really like from the anime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be good for cosplayers if they wanted. To yes, I thought yeah. about it. But um, I'm gonna just sleeve them 
because you know I have the binder with my Yu-Gi-Oh cards in it. True. And it's other cards in here, but you know I had to get the exotic pieces. Of course. Of course, you got to. Of course, of course. So I only reason I got it was because uh Timu is real big on like discounts and getting people to use the app. Um yep. it can it, it come in a hundred pieces, a hundred cards. Hundred cards. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, so it's like it's really it's really a lot of yeah. you, you can make your own deck with that. <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> it is, it ain't by no, anime rules. Yeah, it, it you can, but it ain't no symmetry nowhere in here. Well, I mean, if you if did any of the decks have symmetry, did any of the decks have symmetry back then? Other than Weevil and Rex, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Yeah. But um. Timu, I, I like it. Got it. Got a few things. I got some some other stuff from there too, but I think that was like the coolest thing I got out of it. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to look into that. That's for sure. Okay. And the more you buy, the cheaper it is because the stuff all together originally was like seventy bucks, and then I got some other stuff that um like after you buy so much, they give you like a little gift, which is like something real small. I got some little bracelets, and like the uh, it costs seventy. But all the discount stuff I got, it was like 11 bucks for everything. Wow. You know what? I'm going to look up that app later. That's a good deal. Yeah, we enjoy you too. So, since you're bringing up cards. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going, Fox? So, since we're bringing up cards. What is that? You miss me. Oh, oh Tennessee, JD. honey. You got to get those school classic <laughs> right there. So, I finally, I finally... Oh, oh! I forgot that was out. Oh, got my starter deck for One Piece. Yo, okay. I oh. forgot about that. Yeah. Did you? Hold on. Uh, I have no get yet. the app. Did you get the app? I don't have the app. No. Before you open it, get the app. It teaches you how to okay. play it. with that specific deck. It teaches you how to okay. play. Okay. So that's how I learned how to play. It is fun. I don't put it at you. Well, for me, I don't put it Yu-Gi-Oh because I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for years. Right, but I right. still will play it because I like the combinations and mm-hmm. like even though you know what the colors do, it's so many different play styles you can do with the same. Like I can get the same one he gets, and we can switch right. it up and be completely different decks. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty gotcha. cool. Yeah, so I was excited. I got that as a gift uh, this weekend over, well, yeah, over Free Comic Book Day. By the way, if you do not know about Free Comic Book Day, it is May 6th every year. Free Comic Book Day. I, yeah, um, I totally forgot this year. I, I know. I, I forgot. When I say the hall. Did you get the Ninja Turtle see one? see how thick this bag is? Hey. Get, yeah, the only one I remember was the Ninja yeah. Turtle one coming out. Okay. Ooh. All of these. I am at a deck. All of these. There is the Ninja Turtle one. Oh, and then uh, the place I went to, they had a dollar bin oh, for some I old school. So, you got to let in. Hold on. Make the camera big. Hold on. Let me pull it up for you. Why you say that, Monty? Not even been with Telecom. That was my comic book store, too. Okay. So, I grabbed that one. I grabbed this one. Ooh. Y'all, y'all know I'm a Hulk fan. Yeah. And then I had to grab this one. Ooh. I'm breaking Grey Hulk versus Doom? Yeah. Oh. Grey Hulk and Thing and Doom. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. That's not a good issue. No. I hope not. Okay. Huh? Can you hear me? But yeah, it was a. Uh, it's uh those were a dollar. They had them for a dollar for like the old school. As far as some of the new ones, I wanted to show y'all they had the Spider-Man and Venom. Ooh, Venom. Um Smurfs, Bruce Wayne, not so super, Umbrella Academy. Oh, yeah, Umbrella Academy got them Yes, cool. Yes, they did. Uh see here, Friday night, amazing. Spidey's Amazing Friends. I watched that. That's a cute little show. I've watched that a couple mm-hmm. episodes. That's cute. That's a cute little show. They had a Star Trek one. They had a Nightmare Before Christmas comic. Ooh, hey, that would work as a comic book series. Hey. So I just realized that somebody that we all know growing up is uh, actually con- te- technically Marvel now. Well, they Marvel, and Ooh. I kind of want to find a comic book. Oh, 
This is for Jay. You suck. <laughs> I, I play you in Tekken for it. You know I can't lose to you if I do that, right? You don't have to like <laughs> yeah, not. Yeah, I'm I have you. to not care about our hey. friendship at that point, right? No, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait till the new Tekken come out. We're okay. gonna play it, and we're gonna. I'll, I'll put my mask up against it. There's that Ninja Turtle one there. Yeah, oh. yeah. They came out with the '87. The '87 okay. series has its own yeah. comic book series now. So if you like the old school Ninja Turtles from the '80s? They have their own comic book series out. Mm. Street Fighter Six. Okay. But yeah, a bunch of Animal Crossing that uh like Captain Underpants, uh the I Am Stan comic book, the Stan Lee biography. Oh, 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 comic. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You did not just skip past Captain Underpants like he ain't the best superhero to ever come well, out. It wasn't anything. Captain, it wasn't exactly Captain Underpants, it was the dog version, whatever his name oh, okay. is. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Well, that makes sense. We we hey we rep Captain Underpants. The flip o rama <laughs> Are you really finna skip over the flip o rama hey. no, dog man. That's like no, speaking uh, of Umbrella Academy, that might be this might be a future topic one day. We should think uh, of TV shows that would make good comic books. I'm just gonna oh, throw that out there. You made me forget who I'm talking about. So the comic book that I didn't know that Marvel signed was Meteor Man. Meteor Man is is Marvel. Oh, Are you wow. sure? I didn't hear that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's no great. Idea. He's, he has his own series, then they, they all right. So they basically they redid the movie in the comics, then they did a continuation. Then they had him going up against people like, uh, I know they had him in a Spider-Man comic at one point because you know uh-huh. he's Harlem. Oh right, man, right. like I have, I love TikTok. Man, I learned a lot on TikTok. <laughs> oh, you, you know do. If you pay attention, you learn a lot. You know what, Jay? You made me think of something. You know, speaking of me, you know who'd be a good team up with? Blue Marvel. Meteor Man and Blue okay. Marvel. All right. yeah. I like that. That'd be a cool. That'd be a cool team up. I can see that. Uh, Monty said uh, they have free shipping for a free day. I did not know that. I I prefer going to my local my local comic shops just to support them. You know what I mean? Show them the support. Yeah. Personally. Um. So yeah, that's that's just me. But if they got them free shipping, bet. Oh, that's good to know. I'll definitely look out for that next year. And uh, as far as Fox, sorry, it's been a long day. Hopefully, you uh, get to enjoy yourself, kind of power down a little bit today, get some rest with us at least. You know, chill out, vibe out. Enjoy some some laughs and good times, uh. But yeah, so that was that was free comic book day. I did a quick uh, I did an entire video a YouTube, not YouTube, a TikTok on the hall yeah. yesterday. Um, also got my first mech, my first Gundam. Um, yes. that I'm gonna be doing a video like I'll be putting that together here soon. I'm gonna do that. I'm as glad a you I, I'm glad you said <laughs> something, my friend. Go for it, bro. You know yeah. how we we know how we work. You know how we work. So, so <laughs> I don't know if y'all have these places that have like uh super deals down here. It's like a couple of them, but I, I went to one last Friday. It's called um Black Friday Sales, and everything in the store was eight dollars. Everything oh, wow. in the store was eight dollars. This woman mm-hmm. walked out with two brand new iPad for eight dollars a piece. Hey, the what? Yeah, no, we okay. don't have those. So yeah, what are we don't these? Have those. <laughs> we uh, definitely don't have those. Right. I'm My, you, hey, like you, would, you would be you would be surprised because I found out it's more because what happened is a lot of uh, either returns or back stocks are in um are in places that have Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So if you have an Amazon yard, you might have one. You just gotta look it up. Gotcha. Okay. So how she get the how she got the iPad? We we went in there like a regular like an old school Black Friday. They told us the to way, don't touch nothing, and then they rang the bell. Everybody started moving. Like it wasn't right. you know Black Friday back in the right, day, right, but right. it was still Black Friday. Um, she she got boxes that didn't have no name on. They had a section where you could take the box to. They open up and see what's in there. Two brand new iPads that work perfectly. Oh wow! Um, but I'm gonna cool. show you what I got. I got I spent a little money. I got some Beyblades, of course. I got some headphones. Of course. Wife said, "Hey y'all, hey hey." hey. She walked away. Um, I got big legs. What else I got? Um, oh yeah, right. Got controllers. There oh, you go. nice. Got, you nice. Know, got Pikachu on there. I see. That's Hold on, let me pull that up for you. Cario. That's electricity on there too. There you go. Oh no, that's right up. No, that's just a yellow right. Oh, that's what's up. But, um, yeah. Let me show you what I got. A model. 
Bro, I love that Martin Jackie so much, bro. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Every time I see that. It's not that you were black. You definitely see a Martin shirt in someone's house. <laughs> right. So. Uh, dun, 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 I saw that. Dun, dun. Oh, that you posted that. that. Yes. You posted that. I was, like, yeah, oh. I, was, I was looking at that exact one, but I didn't get it. I saw that exact one at the store. I would not be a Digimon fan if I didn't get this for only eight oh, bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, not nah, man. Certain stuff, that, you not see that bucks. steal like that. That's probably at least That's, 80. You yeah. take it. Yeah. You take that. Like, a guy was looking at it, and I'm like, I didn't no. want to. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person, like, I didn't need it. Right. But if somebody else was going to get it, I was going to let him get it. I was just there just yeah. to see what it was like. Yeah. And I'm sitting there looking at him. He he just looking at it. As soon as he put it down, like, Yoink. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't don't, don't, don't let him like, back to his mind now. Take that up off your hands. Right. <laughs> you don't need this. Let me holler at you for a minute. Let me holler at you. Let me holler at you. Oh, man. Um, All that's, right. that's pretty much it. I got some other stuff, too. Um, like the little lamp you put in the room to make the sky type thing. We got one of those. Um, uh-huh. Got a wifey a phone holder. I just thought it was a cheap phone holder, and I go on TikTok, and the guy was um, you know, doing his affiliate thing, and the thing is like forty bucks. I got it for eight bucks. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Sound like you need to go there more often. That's what that sounds like. Right. I'm gonna try, but I have to get there. You gotta get there early because you want to be one of the first people in, so you can look where you want to mm-hmm. stay in there for everything to start. And I noticed, like, I basically this is like a scout mission. I went there and right. I noticed people were going to certain areas first. And that's where all the boxes were at. And mm. um, so it's like I had to get all the unnamed boxes first and then go for stuff that – like I even got a VR headset. It's oh, not a so great one, but I just got it just because. And it's not even in here. Man, where the VR headset at? Mm. I don't know that boy didn't take my – Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. I got my – my little nephew got him a toy because he had no toys and they was on the way up here, so I got him one of these. Did not know it making as much noise as it did, but it's actually pretty good for you. But <laughs> it's a kid toy, they're always gonna make noise. Right. right. That's the point of it. <laughs> I like that is the point of it. That's okay. I got Bay a Koski lunchbox. Yes. <laughs> Heard that. That she sounded happy. Uh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. I gotta show it. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Okay, Uh-oh. okay. Ooh, uh-huh. Check me out. Ooh, check me out. Yeah. There you yes, go. That's sir. not bad at all. That's not bad no, that's at all. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. She I so I'm gonna tell you something funny. I saw a Koski and grab it. I don't know what it was. I just saw a Koski and grab it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, when I got a chance to like get to myself and start looking at myself, like, oh, this is a lunchbox. They would love this, right? That moment where you're like, mm, okay, yeah, I still keep it. <laughs> like, I had more stuff in my buggy, and I just started as I was in line. I'm like, okay, I'm not really gonna use this. Okay, I don't need. Like, I had put some down, and the guy went and picked it up. I'm like, yeah, he probably needed more than me. That is, it, it was, it was an experience. I'm like, I know I'm gonna go back. Hopefully, you want to go back this weekend if I don't have to work? Friday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, the days is – so, how it works, on Thursday, they're closed. Mm-hmm. Thursday was when they restock and change the thing around the store. Friday, $8 a day. Saturday, $6. Sunday, 5 And then it goes down. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I don't know what you just did, Jay, but something you moved caused it to start being yeah. choppy. Yeah. No, I was hitting mute. I didn't move. There you go. Uh, Nope. Hold on. It went back. Okay, it's gone. You're good. I think. I got you. But uh, each day was like a different price, but. uh, you would want to go there Friday or Saturday because that's close to the days they restock. That's mm-hmm. why everything costs a little more. But it was an experience. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, y'all. Well, let's get into what we were here for today. Ugh. Yes, sir. This campaign. Oh, hold on. Wait, right, uh, right, folks, one there. 
Wait, wait, wait. Right before we go in there, I got to show you this real quick. I'll go for it. Go for it. I'll put you in the mix right real quick. You, you, go for it. Hold on. Uh, uh, so, remember how I was talking to you about Timu? Mm-hmm. Look yes. what they said on Timu. Hey. Ooh, baby, oh, no, the dice. Cool. Yeah, the dice. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. For they 18, 19, 99, that's not bad. They have cheaper ones too. I just want to show the nose. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You nice. want to do color things? Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at oh, all. Oh, trust me. I'm not a dice goblin yet. Um, but yeah, eventually I'm gonna get to that point. Well, at least hundred sided <laughs> die, you know. Hundred sided, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have at least one. Oh, that's those are nice though. The way those are set up. Yeah. She had a Sailor Moon dice. So, Lonnie, when are, when are you jumping into the campaign? I just need to know when do I need to start writing you into this campaign? Yeah, we're always looking for people to jump the campaign. Just throwing that out there. No, that's nice. I, like, I really like these. Mm-hmm. I like those. Yeah, those are real cool. nice. Yeah. Those look heavy. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Well, yeah, those 11. look heavy. Yeah. Like you- so, my brother is the one. He okay, so this man, first and foremost, I have to put respect on his name. Um, my brother is the one who got me into D and D, he taught me like he taught me how to play, he taught me how to DM. He is my personal, he's like, he's the person I usually have DM games for me right. if I'm playing in it. Mm-hmm. Um, he's also the one of the few people in this world that I would give my imagination over to and feel like he will enhance it. <laughs> it's that bad. For those of you who know me, y'all know my imagination is crazy as it is. Right. Oh, that's what's up. Mm. That's nice. nice. That's for when we get that's for when we get uh, getting in person game going. When we setting up models. So I'm trying to find some purple ones with woke out. <laughs> oh Lord, don't get them started. <laughs> as soon as I say it's home. As soon as I say it's home. Yes, Where sir. Ah, oh, those are nice too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are nice. She said probably during the summer months. Got you. All right, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. So he got me a pair, of set of dice, and these. When I say these things have weight, let me pull it. I'm gonna pull it up here. Hold up. Uh, Ooh, I like that. Mm. These things have weight to them. Like it's like throwing a stone at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to play some crafts with those. <laughs> right. <laughs> like it's like throwing a rock at somebody. Like it's it's, it's a bag. But he, he gave me these and he said, um, there's a, a tradition that he has and from the person who taught him and he passed it down. He was like, certain dice, the heavier the weight of the dice, the heavier the weight of the decision being made by the dice's roll. Ooh. Ooh. Which I, like I thought that. was really cool, right? So the last time I played with him, I haven't played in a campaign in a little while uh, because he's been busy and we're just not in the same state. But the last campaign we did online, he was testing something out and he had me play. I played a um, a bugbear that was a druid of the wildfire circle, basically a fire bug, a fire wielding bugbear, Um, (laughs) which which is dangerous in any capacity. Um, But the very last decision I had to make was about bringing somebody back to life. And so I used those dice for the first time. When I say it was the storyline was it was great. Sorry, it was just great. I was I had a moment there. I had a moment. It was good. But yeah, that was the only time I've used it so far. So I will let you all know if during this campaign I pull those dice out. That, so that no. way you all are aware of the the severity <laughs> of whatever's about to transpire. Hey, I'm about to get some of these purple ones myself. These purple ones go hard. Hey, yeah, hey. Those, those nice. Hey, relax yourself. Yeah. They got some ice ones I was just looking at. And it I like it, but the I think out of those, the purple ones wasn't the best ones. It was the blue ones for yeah. being ice. But here you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, those are nice. Oh, let me move that over. Oh. Yeah. I like that. Let me, let me show you purple ones. Let me show you purple ones. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think the blue ones were better. Yeah, blue yeah. ones. Were, yeah, that one works a little bit now better. These purple ones. Well, there you go. Christmas gift, birthday gift. Okay. Oh, uh, now those go hard. With the gold. Yeah. 
I'm going to save them my cart. Yeah. Those go for later. Add to the Amazon list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. All right. So let's get into this. Probably. Um, as you all remember, you all were in the uh, the city, well, the, the tent city, right? Mm-hmm. With the mm-hmm. Pantherations, the lion like people, after you had just saved the um princess. the princess basically of the of the tribe um mm-hmm. you all are you've partied all night you've enjoyed the evening the festivities things are going good you kind of you know just, just kind of relaxed um if i'm not mistaken and let me know if i'm wrong if i'm wrong about this i believe diesel was on edge just a little bit um, you no, know, yeah, I'm an elephant man. I don't trust lions. Right, right. right, right. So <laughs> I can't blame him for that because it just hey. makes sense, you know. Um, so he he was he was a little untrustworthy, but you all were bedding down to take a good night's sleep. Um, Silk, on the other hand, me decided to go for a, a bit of a walk with the princess at the time. And as such, decided to possibly bring a situation back to the tent to speak with the rest of the crew about (laughs) these gnolls again. Okay? Look what Monty said. Hold on, what did Monty say? Q, stay with the group. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hold up, hold up. She said, I feel like Q is most likely reason why you would bring out the heavy. I say yes. 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 Most likely. That's that nice. is it. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's funny. Yes, yes. Um, Musa, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so yeah, so you all, um, you everybody else went back to the tent. If I'm not mistaken, I think I don't think anyone else stayed up late but him. Would that sound does that sound accurate? That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. Cause I know um Jen went back early and Jay I think was just kind of chilling for the most part. I think he then he left. Uh so we're gonna start back up with uh Silk returning from his walk with the princess. Mm-hmm. You're just coming into the tent flat, basically. You see, just like everybody else did, you find all your clothes are back. Um, none of your belongings are missing or anything like that. They did clean your clothes from you know your hikes that you had, um, and so you can change back into your normal garb at this point if you'd like. Um, and then you all can have that conversation, however you all want to proceed. What's going on? They still awake? Uh, are you all still awake? Is anyone still up? I am because I've been following okay. you the whole time. Okay. Oh wow! Okay, so Ooh. wait, wait. So if that's the case, if that's the case, I need a stealth roll. Then that's gonna be the first roll of the day. Uh, roll for me because I forgot to get my tablet. Roll for me. Then. Okay, I'll roll for you. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so you were. So what are you doing? Following them? How far back are you? What do you? What do you? What? Are, what is the purpose and intent of the follow? Just to block you, like I said, I'm gonna be doing. Yeah. Wow. He did okay. say it. He did say, he, did he, did say it. he was gonna. He's gonna block. So he, he did man. say it. So okay. Okay. Man, the, man of his word. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we All respect right. people uh, who are men of their word. Yep. This is true. This is very true. Uh, so Jay, you are rolling stealth. And of course, it's going to make me reset everything because I didn't have it in here. Okay, now my tablet is back on target. I'm going to reset it. I ain't let me open the app. All right. So you got a plus five to yours. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna use this blue dice for you. Okay. Okay. 
Is it no, it's green for you. Yeah. All right. I use this green dice for you. Nine plus five is fourteen. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh let's see here. Yeah, uh, silk. Yep. What is your passive perception? Because you're really not paying attention to nobody to be watching you right now. Right, so right. what's your passive perception? Let me see. Plus four. No, no, no. Uh on the on the it's a census, I think it's what it says. Yeah, oh, it's under census. Fourteen. Yep. 14? Yeah. Okay. So you do notice him. Mm-hmm. Of course I do. Okay. You he notice him. Won't do it, so I'll, I'll... <laughs> um so are you just gonna ignore him? I'm or... just ignore him. You just ignore him? Okay. So yeah. he goes about the night, he talks to the princess. Uh Jay, did you hear the conversation with him and the princess or no? Were you gone? No, I didn't hear the conversation. I was gone by then. Okay. Gotcha. So basically they were just talking about the evening and uh they're talking about the day, and he was trying to basically holler at her real quick. And then she's worried about the Knowles. Um, they have a and worried about she, Diesel as well. And and he's worried about Diesel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she she was no, you're worried for a different reason, but yeah, she's exactly. worried about Diesel. Um, I wasn't worried. Also, though, remember what I said? I said, oh, since she fascinated with this nigga, I'm gonna just let it go. And true, true, out. but but then she did give you the peck on the cheek at the end of the night, and said she wanted to duel you when you came back if you came back from the Noel quest. She just want to fight me for that strong. So, um, <laughs> so I'm assuming. So then, if that's the case, Silk comes back, and then Jen comes in a few minutes after that, or Jay. Jay does. Yeah, yeah, the no. Kaze. Hey, Jen, are you still up or do you, are you knocked out at this point? And Diesel, uh, I'm still up because I don't trust him. Okay, okay. So you kind of sleeping one eye open, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Um. So then, uh, when you come in, Silk, what's the conversation you're having with him? Or are, are you having a conversation with him about well, anything? If up, then I'm gonna tell them that we we gonna help Shorty fight off the nose and shit. Okay. Okay. Hold on, you telling us or asking us? I'm telling y'all. Oh, oh, that's not gonna go. That's over. between y'all. That's y'all conversation. Have at it. Now nah, I'm gonna just be like, hey, look, I was talking to Shorty. She really tripping over this shit. We already saved her. We might as well just go ahead and fuck around and fuck these niggas up. This is gonna give mm. us experience. You know what I'm saying? Experience points and everybody who plays games know. The more experience points you accumulate, the stronger your character gets. Right, but you can't. You're the person. You you don't know nothing about no experience points. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can't talk on top of the table. That's I know. Talk, I know that in life, the more you do something, the better at it you get. That right, makes more sense. That. I can respect that. Right. So one right. thing, and I, like I said, most of this, again, y'all don't all know. When we're when we're in game, you are the person. So it's not yeah. a third person co- talk yeah, no, conversation. I know that. I know that. I'm telling you, there's not a third person conversation. So I need y'all to have these conversations in real time, like y'all talking. Uh, what, what, right. what did uh yeah. what did these guys promise us again if we take out these nulls for them? Um, are you asking me or each other? Oh, I'm asking them first if they remember. Okay. I think they said they was gonna pay us or some shit. Mm. All right. no, no. I'll do it for the gold. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I think Silk has other ulterior motives. I had ulterior motives. I don't know more. He's Are trying to be like loop that? on. He's trying to pull a loop on a third. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Once, once it became apparent that I'm not the main nigga, I, I side character. Right, go play your role. I get. But he ain't with this shit, so I can't really win man for him because he like fuck this bitch. She a lion. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it is not, what it I'm is. Arguing that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it is what it is. So okay. what are we doing there? So we're we're doing it for the gold. 
I mean, you yeah. never have too much money. You know? mm-hmm. Especially when you're so, fucking adventuring around the world and shit. So they, I, I, hold on, I do have a question. I kind of fuzzy. They know about our queen, right? Yeah. And what was that conversation again? I kind of, I don't know. They said that she not they queen, but so they they not, go against us. They not really messing with the queen like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, they have their own beef. Yeah. We're more of an enemy of my enemy is a front type of situation. That's what's going on. Mm, okay. Well, I'm with it. Okay. All right. So, are y'all just powering down for the night or rest? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm down to just get some sleep now. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Not saying that it's needed, but does anyone want to? Uh, does anyone want to do a um, Arrest. a guard? Does anybody want to kind of stand guard, keep an eye open? Because oh. you can't, you can't be, you can't keep an eye open for stuff and get a full night's sleep. No, I'm so okay. So you're not, you're out. Well, I'm sleeping. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'll I'll see a guard. I'll I'll take I'll take a chance with a guard. Is up? Is up? To you? I mean, you get you you guys. I mean, if you feel comfortable, you are in there encampment, right? You know That's so a, they've got I'm guards. Over stuff this. Too. I'm overthinking this. Well, oh, I, I don't. I would say this. I feel like they need us to be healthy mm-hmm. to help them out. So I don't think that they will mess with us while we're sleeping if we're agreeing to help them. True. Right. That makes so, that makes logical sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, and then uh, DM just uh, yes. and my bad. They did say that they were going to help uh, fix our uh, robot friend, right? Yeah. They okay. said they would try to take a look at him tomorrow. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to go to sleep. I'm not going to watch. Murray. Yeah, I'll say sleep. Okay. I want to. I want to get a good night. It doesn't hurt to have a good night to us. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Then everybody gets a long rest. So if you've got any. Uh, if you, yeah, on the top corner of your screen, it should say something that says just long rest. And you can click that button at the very top. And that yeah. will reset everything, all your spells, all your health, all of that. Okay. Oh, clicking it right now. Let me see. I don't see long rest. Uh, it should be... Well, I'm not sure what your screen looks like. I'm on the app. But it should say the top. On yeah, the I just app. hit it. Confirm long rest. I just hit it. Yeah, same. I'm trying to see. Hold on, what screen is how long? So this is screen number. It's on your character screen. It's at the top. It says log rest. It has a yeah. moon picture of a moon on it. Yep. Crescent moon. Yeah. It's a moon. It's a crescent moon. So it, it just looks like. Just say like short rest, long rest, campaign. Yeah. And the little anvil that you should, you should see. Hold up. Well, y'all on the app or the website? The website. Well, I'm on the website. Yeah, I'm, yeah, on, I'm the on the website. website. Okay, I'm gonna hit view character on website. <laughs> okay. Smart, smart. Okay, I'm on the website. I just don't see it. <laughs> it's at the very top. Yeah. At the very it's top, it. I see D and D Beyond. I see the menu. Right. Underneath that, in the same line, is where your character is. Your name, yeah. I see manage. That's all I see. Character name manage, low five mail, change my fire. Look to the right. Look at your name and then look to the right. You'll see share, short rest, long rest, campaign, absolute pandemonium. Okay, let me turn this off real quick so I can show y'all that I don't see that and I know I ain't crazy. Well, I mean, that's the main rule. But. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> Appreciate your presence, my boy. Where do y'all see that at? Oh, oh they got, you got to oh. hit the three lines at the top. Three lines at the top. Bow. What does that say? It's flipped, so I can't read that because yeah. it's oh. backwards. <laughs> um, no, actually, hold on. Hold on a I can fix that. I can fix that. Let's see. Mirror, <laughs> bow. Okay, there, there we go. That works. Mm-hmm. 
collections. Tool, maybe tools, maybe? I don't no, know. it's not any of those. Um, mo- uh, hit the three lines again for me. Three lines. Okay, it went back. Let's see. I see everybody. Boom. Okay. What does it say next to 13 to the right of that? 13 said defense and conditions. What's under manage? Manage, it says. Do you see a campfire symbol? There we go. There we go. I see it. 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 Yeah. Are we cooking long rest, right? Yep. Long rest. Long rest. There we go. Take long rest. All right. I need to find it on the app. Let me see. Where was I? So we go to conditions. Oh, that's not it. Hmm. I like that feature. Okay, so um, for future references, when when if y'all ever do get on the app, it's a campfire oh. right up under here, right there. Yeah. The oh, campfire. okay, it's under that part. That's gotcha. It. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Back to my food. No, 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 you're good. You're good. Okay, so everybody knocked out. Boom. Schooling. Mm-hmm. Um. Wake up the next day. It's an uneventful night. You all kind of hear the right uh, revelry outside because they're still out there drinking and partying and they're enjoying the day. Um, and so you all get get a good night's sleep. You wake up in the next morning. Uh, you are preparing for you know getting your stuff back on because you all did get your clothes back. So you know readjusting yourselves and everything. Uh, and Yilna comes in. Well, she doesn't come in, but she comes to the door. And just kind of like, hello, are you all awake? Good morning. Yeah, we're up. Oh, we're oh, up. um, can do you mind if we're I up. answer? Yeah, go ahead. Sure, that's fine. Okay. So she and she enters. She she tries to be she she you noticed those of you who were up and kind of looking that direction, you did notice she reached for the flap first and then stopped. And then ask for permission. So she's not, she, again, she's the princess of the area. She's not used to having to worry about <laughs> that type of stuff. Right, right. Um, so she was just kind of like, uh, she's like, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to, to bust in. Um, I wanted to say thank you all again. Well, I guess I shouldn't say thank you yet. Have you all, and she looks at uh, Silk, did yeah. you all talk about whether or not you all are going to be willing to help or able to help us? Yeah. For the right price, we got, we got you. We got your back. For for the right price, um, well, right. I I personally can't I can't talk reward myself. I mean, I would be eternally grateful, and so will my people, of course. But um, my dad is probably the best person to talk to about that. Um, he he did send me to come get you all. Whenever you're ready, he um, he's at the main tent. Um, so just feel free to make your way there. Also, and she looks over at Diesel, and she if you all visibly notice that she does not make eye contact with him. Mm-hmm. Okay, and she's just kind of like, um, do you all mind if I do you mind if I take your friend out of the cart? Um, I. Are some of our our artificers said they would take a look for you? Yeah. If you think you can help him, go ahead. Would Would you mind helping us move him? He's he's a bit heavy. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so you follow her out after you get your stuff set up. You follow her out, and you all walk towards the where you left the cart. Basically, he's been in the cart all night. Okay. Yeah. Um, the rest of you are up and moving. Um, do you want to like? Do y'all want to talk amongst yourself before you roll out? Do you guys just want to head out, head over to oh, the, oh, the main oh, boss's oh, oh. tent? Well, we might as well see. Well, he already asked us if we were up already, so I guess they're wait, they they, they want to send us off. So just say, let's just get ready. Let's make sure we're prepped to go. And yeah, I think we need to talk. 
And I know me with these quests, hope I find a cool wind spell. So <laughs> well, y'all, I mean, if y'all gonna talk amongst yourselves, feel free. Go ahead. So are we not just gonna, you know, recognize that she just looked at him that way? I was gonna say something, way? but I wasn't gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> Did so you all, so Diesel's gone right now, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Should we be concerned? No. Nah. Maybe a little bit concerned. I mean, why would she look at him? But then it's, but he did say that, you know, they've had, so, there's something going on. We still do not know, but we want to be helpful. Be we want to help After get the- talking to her last night, I can, I can assure you that she's into him. Okay. That's why she probably was looking at him like that. Well, we know he hasn't been easy being here. He's been on, you know, high alert for other reasons, but understandable. I just think we keep a close eye on everybody else around him particularly. Okay, true, true. I'm with it. True, true. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. So um, when he comes back, if nothing happens, I think we should always, one of us should always be by his side just in case. Okay. Okay, it'd probably be best if it's me because he's probably not going to observe my pay too much attention to me. He knows that I'm just here with you guys and I'm just on a journey to find one spell. So it might be best if I just observe. That's cool. So, so you all want to wait here for him to get back then? Yeah, we're going to wait for him to get back before we go do anything okay. else. Gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, Diesel, as you all go through and I find, yo, y'all should be proud of me. I've been working with, sorry, this is a side note, complete side okay. caveat. Um, <laughs> um, I've been working with Mid Journey, right? Okay. And trying to get like images for y'all. Mm-hmm. And I think I got it. I, uh, I'll let y'all know if it'll, let me see if it'll pop up. Come on, yo, be nice. Why are you, you doing know, that? Nice. I, broke out I just remember what he did. I you can do what you want. <laughs> oh, no, not again. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? I just want to. I just want to punch you. Just because. he wanted to punch you for some reason. Oh, I'm I was just one of one of your slaps. Is one of your, one your slaps? Of them left, so. Okay, so you have to. So I need you to roll an attack roll, just a straight unarmed strike, to see if you okay. connect. Hold on. And also, we need a countdown. So how many do you have left? That's what I was gonna ask. I forgot. It was I think seventeen I had. total. Seventeen total. So this is gonna. Yeah. Be, I'm gonna be one to seventeen. Okay. Okay, he said unarmed. Let's roll. Ah, uh, it's an eight. It's an eight. What is your yeah. uh, AC? So, um, it's like a fourteen or something, ain't it? I remember from the last time. Yeah, it's a fourteen. Okay. So you know what happened, right? We. We, we, we. <laughs> so, so he, he swings. He takes this wide swing. Like he thinks he's about to just tag the back of his head, and then Silk is just like, "Bro, for real." <laughs> we. So we. yeah, so you, that, that's that's one down. Um, so here we go. I got the got the picture. Got the no, picture. he slapped me before. This is the second slap, and the first one connected. Oh, yeah, the first one. True, true, okay. true. So this is that was seventeen. This is sixteen. So you have fifteen left. Okay. Okay. So okay. this is a general right. idea of kind of what you're seeing uh, for Diesel as okay. you're going through the city. Uh, just general kind of cruising down the street. That's such a dope right. fucking image, bro. <laughs> right on. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're proud um, of so you, Is that awesome? Thank you. It. I tried. <laughs> We're proud of you, man. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Because, hey, the whole time when you were telling us what they look like, I was just thinking of me. <laughs> right. So I found – here, I'll give you this one. This is kind of to give you an idea from the night before. That's kind of what you were seeing. Thanks. You know, they're just kind of around the campfire, okay. laughing, joking, you know, just a bunch of lying people out there chilling and enjoying their best life right now. Um, and But anyway, so Diesel, as you're walking through the city, this is kind of what you see. Uh, tents. And different color tapestries everywhere. Uh, you got people walking around, and again, you don't see a lot of guard presence. Most of the guards are lionesses, from what you're noticing so far. Um, they're not, um, how do you say, they're not like the male, 
the the you know the mail lines with the with the mains and stuff like that. It does okay. seem to be like they're like they're gone, like they're not there. Here's another one, uh, kind of give you another how wide the bizarre area kind of is that you're walking through, and you're just you're kind of just going through, and you're keeping mental note of kind of where you're going, right? You remember where you parked the cart, you remember where you were, and again, your uneasiness yourself is kind of you know you're a little on edge with it, but you all get to the cart, no issues. Um, she does try to start a little bit of conversation with you, just general chatting, you know, hi, how's, how was your sleep? Did you rest well? Stuff like that. Um, do you choose to engage her in conversation or just kind of? Uh, um, yeah, I'll engage. You know, then they don't want to say no. <laughs> okay. Okay. So she's like, you know, well, um, I hope, um, I hope you all rested well. Um, I know, and she kind of like looks at you up and down, like a quick side glance. Is like, I, I know our accommodations aren't um, for someone of your size. So I do apologize. I hope that you at least got a decent night's rest, though. Um, and thank you again. Thank you again for you all helping us. I, I know this is not your this is not your problem and for you all to be sticking your necks out like this um it says a lot about you especially for people who follow the queen it's honestly it's unheard of here um so thank you thank you hmm. what are the people who follow the queen typically like well i personally have never really met any of them um just what I've heard from my father and my grandfather and, you know, the warriors who are not here right now. Um, it's just that they're, they're not the nicest of people, you know, they, they're kind of self-centered. Um, they're, they're just worried about their own empire and hey. their own lives. And yeah, they, they usually are end up being the ones who cause most of our issues. They don't usually help us solve most of them. So it if and I apologize if people seem a bit standoffish to you as well. That that could be why once they found that out. I see. Uh, well, uh maybe in the future you won't believe everything you hear. Very valuable lesson. Kind of looks at the ground and it's like yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, and she stops and like darts right in front of you and stops and drops down and like almost like a prostate bow in the ground. Mind you, this is the princess of the entire encampment. So this draws a lot of attention because <laughs> you're in the middle of the bazaar and the princess is bowing to you. I'm sorry. Uh, on behalf of all my people, I'm so sorry. I you're right. We shouldn't have judged. And I I just hope I hope you forgive us. I, I really, I really, really do. I please just please thank you again for helping. I was like, all right, princess, you don't have to go that far. We're we're all good. And, and so she slowly, she slowly gets up and, and keeps walking and um, you see, she kind of she's got a little bit of a, a a little bit of a trot gait to her step now, a little dancey gait that wasn't there before. Um, like she says, she's as she's walking through, and you all finally get to your cart, and the uh, <laughs> the the beast, the uh, the warlock, is there. He's, he's sitting over there eating to the side. <laughs> And all you smell is like it's not rotted meat, but meat that's definitely been out for a day or so. You know what I mean? It's not decaying mm -hmm. and rotting, but it's definitely got that that heavy iron meat. I imagine that smell. Eating, though. <laughs> My bad, coach. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's just slopping out. Think of like think of like pigs eating. Okay, that's what it looks like, but it, again, he's a big hippo with rows of shark teeth, kind of. So he's just like in there. Oh, 
where he looks at you and you know makes a little noise and goes back to eating. And he's just kind of over on his side by himself, but he looks good. He looks like he was well taken care of. Um, and you all go into the cart. I need a strength check from you, though. Strength check. All right. Strength check. Because I need to see if you are you are able to pick this guy up. <laughs> uh, probably not. I got a five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. So you, you step up to the cart, and you're just like, all right, I got this. Walk up. <clears throat> oh. Uh. <laughs> Oh, you stretch your back out. <laughs> just gotta you know, kind, of, kind of stretch and limber up a little bit. Not a hernia. Let, let me let me try this again. Go ahead and give me one more roll for it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a cast guidance on myself just in case. Okay. Yeah. You know. Yes. All right. Um. So I'm gonna do this. Oh, I probably didn't need it. But uh, so I got twenty one that time. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so what was on the dice? Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. So you got yeah. twenty one total, and then you you got the guidance. So just go ahead and roll it anyway. All right. Uh, let's it's see like, where it's at. It plus four. Is it? Yeah, plus four. All right. That's roll. just it's another one. So twenty two all together. Twenty two. Yeah. So <laughs> this time you, because you feel you feel like you just did yourself a disservice, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm the biggest dude here. There's no, nah, nah, forget this. Forget this, man. <laughs> you plant your feet, <laughs> put one foot up on the edge, just, <laughs> throw, throw him over your shoulder, <laughs> and just start walking, walking, walking with him, like, you know, Macho Man Randy Savage style. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like you, you, you're just, you had to, it was more so for you than anybody else, but it was more of like, a, I'm, I can't, nah, I cannot do that. That was not cool. <laughs> It's not cool. <laughs> but he so, hurt. He hurt. Right. I know. That first time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, your back definitely pulled something. Definitely pulled something. Yeah. Um, God, it's not proud. It wasn't, it wasn't an epic fail. If you'd rolled a one, you'd probably took some damage from it. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, So you guys are walking, and she directs you. Uh, and you get to, uh, like I said, you're going through the bazaar. You get to the um, this one tent. And it's one of the few tents that has like a brick mud clay wall backing it uh there's a furnace that's in the center and this is a group of about four different tents think of like a cube right but all of them seem to share this bricked center and so there's a fire that's being stoked uh in as you walk past there's fires being stoked in each one excuse me but they're all connected to the same chimney flue system that goes up in the center of these four Okay, basically. Um, and so you you're kind of gathering because you, you're starting to smell. You hear like tinking of metal workers, and you know you're smelling certain things from uh, like some baked foods in the area. So you're kind of thinking that this may be where they kind of condense all the heat, being that this is a desert area. Try to condense all the heated items into one place to mm. you know keep it together. Yeah. Uh, so you get you get to the spot, and uh, she's like, if you could just. Put him there, and as you walk up to the tent, there is an elder that you see. Um, like an a, a, he's just an older lion, you know what I mean? Nothing, mm-hmm. nothing too major. Uh, actually, I did have a picture of him. Let me grab it here real quick. Um he 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 looks I'm not gonna say regal, but regal. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, he looks mm. like he got, he has he looks like he comes from knowledge. Mm. <laughs> I don't okay. know if that's a way to put it. If that makes yeah. sense, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, he looks like he he looks like he comes from. He's a knowledgeable individual, and he's able to you know he he has that ability. And so he, as you walk through, he's just kind of like, yeah, yeah. You you you. The, what what do you think you're doing? What 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 is this contract? Oh my! Is this the? And he just freezes in his tracks and is just staring, not at you exactly, but at you. But he's staring at the automaton. He's staring at your friend. Um, and she, you know, Yildon walks up. Yeah, yes, this is, uh, this is, and she turns to you, I'm, I'm so sorry. I do not know your name. Diesel. D- Diesel. This is Diesel. Um, and 
this friend, um, does your friend have a name? Or is it just a robot of yours? Uh, honestly, if he does have a name, I don't think he's told us. Yeah, and you all don't know his name. He, he's not giving you all a name this entire time, uh, which is something else that's been worrying all of you <laughs> through this. Um, here you go. To give you an idea, this is kind of what you see. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that nigga okay. majestic? Yeah, yeah. He 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 comes from, he comes from good stock. <laughs> he comes from good stock. Um, I can't think of the line from Nardia because that's what I thought about first. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. Uh so yeah, that's that's what you see. And now again, all again, all these people are humanoid lion people, right? right. Like me. creatures. Me. So the me. The lion me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's like, yes, yes, please, please, come put him, put him here. And he, he, when I say he clears the table, he like old school, like '90s movie wipes the table clean. There's bottles and glasses flying <laughs> off the table. <laughs> right, he just clears. It. So here, let him, lay him here, let him here. And why don't you, you give me Doc Glide from Back to the Future? Yes, exactly, exactly, <laughs> perfect. And so, like, you notice. Um, what is your passive perception again, David? Um, 13. Okay, that's high enough. You notice one of the bottles he hits starts a small fire <laughs> on the edge of the bed when he knocked it over. Oh, okay. And he, he doesn't seem to have noticed. He's like, yeah, yes, put, lay, lay him here, lay him here. Yes, yes. Here's a fire. Uh, you've got a... A little fire on your hands there. Well, well, yes, I know, son. There's a friend that's right behind me. What do you think we are? We're at the chimney stacks. We're at the stacks. Of course, it's fire. Ah, no, uh, let me point at it with my trunk. Okay. <laughs> and, like <laughs> your trunk points, like it goes literally right past his head, and he like leans a little wide eyed <laughs> and follows it. And is like, oh, 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 give me one second. He goes over and starts patting out the side. And, well, oh, thank you, my boy. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, what what have we here? Is this is he sentient? Please tell me he's sentient. Please. <laughs> he yes. is sentient. <laughs> and he does a little finger steeple, like, oh yes, I have long. Do you know how long it's been since we? And he stops again, and turns from you and looks back at the the automaton. And what it forces it? over to another table, grabs like they look like magnifying glasses, basically, right? Okay. Um, and he grabs this set set of lenses, and it's one. Think of you remember uh, remember the old school measuring cups, mm -hmm. and yeah. you know how the they used to stack inside of each other. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Think yeah. of it something like that, but it's a magnifying lens that can zoom out like like those cups do. Okay. Okay. And so he like he pulls it out and he's like he starts clicking and as he clicks one other cup drops down lower and lower and lower mm -hmm. and as it's like zooming in on the different aspects and he's just walking over yes yes this is no no this can't be this is well I mean it, it looks like the instruction is well I'm I'm not I'm not sure give give me one second uh yeah yeah yes please give me give me uh book fifteen book fifteen fifteen uh but uncle there's like. 2015s. I you 15 Zelda. You know what Zelda? <laughs> Zelda? Really? Come on, Uncle. You've forgotten your own books again. There's no book <laughs> Zelda. I categorized these last week for you. It doesn't exist. Look. Do not subvert me. You know which book I want. The one on the end. That one. Uh -oh. that, that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. <laughs> you know which one. Here, Uncle. And she like walks over. She she finally grabs a book and off the shelf for him and walks over. And he starts flipping through and uh he's like, Yes, no, no. And he's looking at inscriptions on the like you can't even see these, right? But it seems like he in the book he's looking at inscriptions, but on okay. the automaton, you just see scratches, right? Now he does again, he has this magnifying thing, so you're thinking maybe you know. Maybe that's what it right. is, but he's looking in the book. You see clear glyphs that are in here, and so he's like, "No, this, this okay. 
Yes. Uh, and he, he's, walk, he's walking around. And he stops. Close the book real fast. And looks at you and is like, you do plan on leaving him with me for a little while, yes? You don't need this immediately, do you? Make it sound evil as shit. Mm -hmm. You have until we get back from our little mission, and then we're taking him with us. Thanks. Very well. Very what? What? Wait a minute. What mi mission? What mission would you all be going on? Please don't tell me they have you chasing those wild nose. That's exactly what's going on. And what of it? Oh. My boy, oh. my boy. Ah. And he looks you over. This time, the look is more of a concern, like a concerned elder now. And like he's analyzing you and like looking at your like your muscle contour and your general build. And and then he gets to your feet and he looks up at you. And he walks dead up to you. Now, again, you stand a good nine feet, right? Like you're not a small individual. Big ass no. He only comes maybe to six five, something like that. But when I say he looks up into your eyes and you feel like he, you're looking up at him. Right. Looks like that. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> he's staring into your soul right now. Mm -mm -mm. And it, and it's not a it's not an aggressive, it's not a yeah. it's a worried, concerned parent. Being an elder. Right. Makes sense. Right. <laughs> and so he's like, he, he he takes the book, he puts it down, and he clasps you on the shoulder, like on 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 on, his, on your forearm, and he's like, my boy, thank you, but just be safe. I've hmm. lost enough of our pride. That's real shit. To them. That's some real ass shit, bro. This made me more glad that I made this decision. When you return, not if, you will be the one. When you return, I will have not only your friend ready, but I will have something for you. You and, wait, are you alone? Are you going by yourself? Okay, never mind. This is a madness. What are you, are you going by alone? No. No, I'm no. here with a party. Oh, whew. Like he went straight from an elder to like the madman or crazy dude real quick and then came back. Okay. <laughs> He's like, okay, okay. I will have something for your compatriots. You better yet. And he goes and runs over and there's a little there's a there's a wall. Remember I said there's like four. You walk past and it looks like yeah. it's a block of four, right? And he walks over to one of the walls. And he like knocks on his wooden door that it looks like it would open either into a closet or something, but it actually is a door that opens as he opens it, uh, or as it's opened into the next room. Um, and through it, you can see Left. weapons. It's kind of like the, I guess, the armory, <laughs> you could say. It looks like that's what's on the other side of, and bless you, whoever's sneezing. Um, <laughs> um, but it's it's the it's the armory on the other side of that room. It's that other that next room in the tent. Uh, and he says, "Hey, do you do you have uh, that one thing?" And he's talking to somebody in there, and you hear you hear somebody kind of growling, talking back to him. And uh, he turns and looks at you and he says, "Is there anyone?" Uh, this may sound odd. Is there anyone capable of wielding lightning magics? That's me! <laughs> well, that is mm, odd, yeah. but it is funny enough. As a matter of fact, there is. There is. There is. Okay, okay. Give me one moment. I'll be right back. And he like dives through the door into the armory area, and you hear him. And their conversations with themselves literally sounds like lions roaring at each other. It's like their own language, okay. right? And so that's what you hear during that. And um, Yona just kind of looks at you and she's like, I don't know what's going on over there, 
but he's extra excited for no reason. I've never seen him like this. Like, ever. Um, You guys must be real special. Because I've never seen this happen with him. And he, he gets excited about a lot of things. I mean, as you can see, he's a researcher. You know how they get. But, no, I've never seen him this excited before. Um, and so he comes back through the door. He comes back through the door. And uh, he gives you a dagger. And on it, there is a, uh, like a, it looks like an inscribed lightning bolt. There's like, was carved into the blade of it. Okay. And he's like, he says, I, I don't know what it does. <laughs> but whoever I've heard that if someone with the proper abilities wields it, it could be a possibly a great asset. So, um, yeah, I hope I hope at least it helps. I will have something more impressive when you all are done, um, when you come back. So please, please make sure you come get your friend and those things. If if nothing, if if my fool nephew does not repay you, either way, I I personally will will want to will want to help and thank you. So. Uh, yes, go, go, go. Hurry, hurry on. The day is getting started. I'd hate for you all to, it is a bit of a, a trek. Um, I, I will see you when you return. Well, thanks for the dagger. I'll see that we can put it to good use. And yeah, really well. farewell. And so, uh, as you leave, he kind of you see him looking over the automaton's body again, uh, and then like, right before you're out of earshot, right, like right as you're leaving mm -hmm. out the tent, the flaps and it's open, right? It's not like there's flaps; it's it's wide open because it's heat, right? They want to make sure all the heat yeah. gets out, so it, it's open. And as you get to the edge of the tent, though, uh, he says, "It's your thing." He's not even looking at your name. He just yells that. What did, sorry, what did he yell again? It's your thing. Your thing. Oh. Okay. Bro, okay. I thought you were saying this. Like, it's your thing. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> no. He, he just says it's your thing. And that that's it's all he says. Um, I'll... Yell back. Is that his name? Uh, yes, yes, yes. That is that is my name, boy. I look forward to seeing you. Be safe. Thanks. All right. And so you head back with said dagger. Okay. Um, uh, I'm assuming you just head. You're heading just back to. Um, Back to the tent where they're yeah. waiting for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So he gets back. Diesel gets back. You all um, are you, what do you guys want to do? I know you were, so you were waiting for him before you headed to the king. Um, Yelna is still with you. Do you guys just want to head over or? Uh, I'll tell these guys about the arrangement I made with the elder and I'll toss over the dagger. Okay. It's a little too, too small for me. All like right. a toothpick in your hand. <laughs> it really is. It really is. All right, All right. So, and I'm assuming you give it to Silk? Yeah. I'll explain that it's something, I don't know what, but something happens when you use lightning magic on it. Okay. So, you get an additional dagger, and you've got two on you already. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. What I need you to do is uh when you go well, you're on the website, right? Yes. Perfect. Uh on the inventory button. Mm -hmm. Click on that 
and then you should see like the search bar and it says manage inventory yeah click manage inventory and then the filter type the word dagger you should get something that says dagger of warning you see that no i have a dagger of venom and i have a this these are my my daggers i have a regular one i have a green i just put it on yours because you might not be able to see it because i've got extra content so i just put it on you can you see all the ones that i have i do well i see you have two daggers right now that's it oh my shit got six daggers no so that's not yours technically those right there aren't aren't in your inventory those are ones you can be added to you though. Oh, okay. Um, but so back out. Don't worry about it. Back out. Go back to your regular inventory. <clears throat> hey, you should see Dagger of Warning now. Oh, hold on. Let me refresh, maybe. You're fine. Oh. Go back to the actions, uh, but actions page. Hold on, I refreshed it. Okay, more actions. Okay, yeah, I see okay. it. Dagger of warning. So that yeah. is what you got. Okay, cool. Okay. And then, like I said, there is uh, there is some dish additional things. You want to let them know what that does? Who me? Yeah, you want to let the team know what it does? Uh, hold on. Let me click it. Magic weapon warns you of danger. Oh, let me tell them. Hey guys, so this weapon it warns of us danger warns us of danger while the weapon is on me and we have the, uh, the advantage on initial oh well yeah i guess that's right. yeah, <laughs> roll, right? um uh, and also you any of your companions of within 30 feet cannot yeah. be surprised except when they're incapacitated yep so I have other a than non-magical sleep. other than what non-magical sleep so if you're just sleeping it you still can't be surprised. Right. Okay. It's only so I have like a question. Somebody... Does that affect my slaps? It will actually. But you're not, you're not, but you're not, uh, you're not trying to surprise him either. It's right. Not like like you, I always know it's coming. Right. Right. All right. So, All right. Also, if you're sleeping, the dagger will wake you up if damage is. If It'll be an alarm sleep. that goes off, right? Yeah. In other words, he got hot. He got danger sense. Yeah. That's what the dagger is, mm-hmm. right? Now the thing is, though, because oh. of your level and your abilities right now, mm-hmm. you'll probably have to roll to see if it triggers you to to, to notify you or not. You'll get the you'll get the notice, right? Yeah. You'll get the the ping. Right. But to know what it is, actually, yeah. right to recognize it exactly, exactly. Now I'm letting you all know because this is the first time we've got an item in the game, right? So that's why I wanted you all to read it off so you guys can see what they, what type of things you we we you will be getting as time goes on. Normally, though, because remember the guy said he doesn't know what it does, right? So mm-hmm. normally, someone would have to cast uh, like an identify spell on it. Or the person is going to have to, who you get it from, would have to know what it is for you to find out what it does. Otherwise, it would just be something that you would find out through the gameplay, and I would just give you these symptoms that you would possibly get as you were doing it. Okay? Okay. Cool, cool. But, yeah, so that's the first one. You get that one as a freebie as far as, like, just not having to cast any spells on it to figure out what it is. But from here on out, that's that's kind of what you would have to do. That. Yep. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, so, Jen, so Jen, 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 I got a question. Why did he get the first? Why did he get the first one? He didn't deserve it. Lightning affinity, nigga. <laughs> he left the party and he gets the first. Come on now. Lightning Technically, he got the second. <laughs> Who had the first one? Because Deron's gloves spoke to him first. That's okay. true. <laughs> Out of us three, though. Well, why did he get the first? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There, there are other it's things. It's only coming. a dagger. It's only a dagger. There are other things coming. It's a dagger that helps all of us, though. Um, I do have a question, though. What's up? Okay. 
Is it about Who the gloves? Has what gloves again? I want to make sure my notes are accurate on this. I, I know. I don't think I have black. any gloves. At least I don't think you don't have hands. either. Right. I know that. I have a purple and a yellow one. But you're rocking the them. purple. Or you're not wearing either one. I I have one of each on you my have one head. of oh, each you, on. Do, do yeah. you have them on? Yeah. One purple and one yellow. Okay. Okay. And, and then I had the word. Jay, yeah, green you had and blue, blue and blue. green. Yeah. But I don't know if you put any on yet though. I haven't put them on. You haven't put them on yet. Okay. So as of right now, Diesel's the only one who has heard the voice of his gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Little captain here when he was falling. Wait, take, I was about to say, <laughs> a nigga talked to me. Yeah, that's what I was like. I thought somebody else did. Yeah. He, he had, but but I didn't, so you only had purple, but you only had purple on. You didn't have both. You only you had one. Only one, one of them talk to me because I only took one side of each. I so okay. Yeah. Okay, so then that's my fault because I thought you had both of the same one. Yeah, so I have a purple one and I have a yellow one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to retcon it. It happened. Right, I'm not going to retcon it. So just figure it's out more. which one spoke. I got it. Yeah, I'll, I'll run it in from there. I, I know which one it came from. It came from purple. Okay, it came from the purple. Right, right. I was about to purple. say, I was like, I heard a voice, but we didn't establish that it was the glove talking to me. Right. Just right, 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 right. So. I don't even remember what the motherfucker said. Something about, like, a, the time to slap. What's up with my <laughs> curse? All right. <laughs> Shit like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um. Okay, you give him the dagger? Yeah. And y'all head out. So you're heading to, to the king. Um, and you get to his hut. You, of course, are, you know, you hear him talking with everybody and the princess, you know, he, she goes in um, and, you know, introduces you all again. And this time Diesel's with you all coming in. So his presence with like the people in there, they saw y'all last time and they already were kind of taken aback, like gave y'all some room, right? Diesel walked in with y'all this time. And it was like, like y'all thought y'all had a presence before, like him being with y'all. It's like, it's like Shaq walking in behind the rest of the team. You know what I mean? Back in the day, it's like that. (laughs) So, you know, everybody's like, okay, they're like kind of, kind of on awe and everything. And, uh, but they did, they talked to you. These people are all people you saw last night, right? right? Around the campfire. So there, it's not like a, an awkwardness, um, and so they're, you know, you people are just they're sitting there talking, and uh, oh, what was his name again? Bergoff. Bergoff comes over and it's like, mm-hmm. yes, uh, I, I appreciate you all again. Um, information, yes, yes, and he lays out a map for you, right? Um, and this is what the map looks like. I'll put it on the big screen here for you all. Put it on the big screen. So, nigga, is that is... in the bed in bottom right? <laughs> no, but that is a city in the that is a city on the map in the area. Um he says, Well, here is where we are here. Okay. 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 The encampment. Well, technically, technically, the encampment that you're looking for yeah. should be here. This is where we left our last team. They were setting up camp here. However, the Knoll Cave is, over there. is here. This looks like a long journey, nigga. Uh, <laughs> it's not that bad. You should oh, be able to get to both within, today, within the day. I was talking to you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, if you talk, I'm thinking it's you talking, bro, because you are you are. I still, mean, why go so... say to the king, that's a long journey, nigga? <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? It is you. It's who you are. That is silk. <laughs> that is silk. I actually, look. He, he dissed the queen and king to his face. You hear me? You right? You dissed the king and the queen to their face already. I don't right. expect you, much. You right? You right? <laughs> you right? Um. So, to give you all perspective on this, 
this is the cathedral where you all dropped in. Okay. 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 That's the cathedral where y'all dropped in. This is about roughly where y'all got when y'all saw the rabbit shot. Okay. okay. I, was here. I wasn't there. <laughs> this is what right we know. You there. <laughs> this is where you all are now. So remember you all kind of went northwest. Yeah. Right. This is where you all are now. Mm. That you you know that there is mention of a city out this way and a city to the south as yeah. well. Remember they're talking about the other two cities, right? Yeah. That they were talking about. Um so you're assuming, as you all are looking at this map, that one of these two places, one of these few places here that you're noticing here, mm -hmm. are those towns, or it could even be that big one over there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's the one to the there's a big one to the south here, big one, a little one here. The knolls, though, he points out, are here. Okay. This is where the knolls are. I I suggest you reach out and try to check this small encampment here. This is where our our warriors went and then they prepped before they went down to actually do battle. Um, it was just outside of the range of their territory, right? Still within our, our area, right? We figured right, right. they'd be safe there and they could do a one, one time march right, right in and invade. We have not heard from our warriors okay. in the past three weeks. Damn. No, they did. If we find your warriors alive, what do we need to say to them so that they don't attack us? Big thing. Ah, yes. Uh, hmm. That is a good question. Demeter will not be one to to listen easily. Okay, we have somebody accompanying us. And in you saying that, Yilna steps forward. Father, I'll, I'll go with him. And he looks at her and is like, you just came back. Damaged. Broken. What the fuck is that to say? I'm. I do not want to lose my daughter. My son may already be gone. I do not want to lose my daughter. Was your son with that group that we're gonna look for? He is Demeter, who I mentioned. Earlier. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, he is a rather proud. <laughs> He's rather proud, rather stubborn. I. Oh, shit. We gotta go from. save Vegeta. But he is he is rather <laughs> proud. Um, although seeing his sister would help you all, it would smooth everything through. Um, I will allow you to go, Yona. You must not go past the encampment. You can travel with them there and ensure that they make it and know the directions. And then you are to return with whatever news you find. Yeah, yeah. And she just looks at her dad and kind of gives a soft bow. I, I understand, sir. I will I will only go as far as there. Very well. Um, and then he hands you all the map. So you all now have access to this map at any okay. time. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, right. <laughs> Level up. Yeah, got the map. Now, now we got to put it in our own backpack. I'm the map. I'm the map. I was just about to sing it. Oh, I was just about to sing it. Uh, we are showing our age here. I can say, mm, say that right now. I was just wow, that. that's funny. <laughs> I'm, the map. I'm the map. All right. So uh, you guys get the map. Um, he says, I, I, unfortunately, I don't have a lot. Um, he snaps his fingers twice. And one of the attendants brings out a small satchel and he says, but I do have have this. Um, I hope it will be of aid to you all. And he passes over this pack. Uh, and in it, there are a few different vials. Um, you all, they're health potions, basically. Oh, so oh, nice. you've got two regular health potions and two greater health potions. We just got health potions. Each or total? Potion. Total. Okay. Total. So however you all want to split those up, 
feel free. Well, I think that Diesel should get one of the greater ones since his size probably would loosen the effect of one of the regular ones. I'll take a okay. regular one. A regular one? I, I think Six should get one. You said what? That's between y'all. <laughs> I don't think I need a potion right now. I think I'm fine. Okay. One thing you all may want to decide on is this. Outside of your individual items, is there anyone carrying a collective grouping for you all? Or is everybody just carrying their own stuff? I just don't want to carry my stuff. <laughs> he, he likes to leave the group. He's lying to yeah. you. So everybody's carrying their own? Yeah. Okay. So who's getting? Who's taking what? Uh, I guess I'll take the greater potion. Okay, you taking one greater? Yeah. I get damaged a lot. I'm gonna take a greater potion. <laughs> okay. I'm all right with that. Yeah, I guess Vo can get the two lesser because Rock can heal, right? I think I can. I think I have a healing spell. I think I do. Hold on. No, I don't. I don't have any. I don't. No, I don't have a healing spell. Okay. You um, know what, bro? We we finna find your spell book so you can learn some more spells. We need you. Okay. No, I don't have a wind healing spell yet. <laughs> okay. So make sure you jot that down. What you all have. Okay. All right. Got... That won't be. That won't be in the. Inventory. Um. And yeah, in your inventory right now, I gotta figure out how to add the graders. I was just about to add. No. I just I added one to mine. You get, is it a greater or a regular potion? It was a greater. Greater. Okay, it allowed you to. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. So what you do? You just you just go to manage inventory and add it. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay, so in my inventory now. Ocean of Healing. I only see the greater. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Manage inventory. Type in uh, healing, and you'll see potion of healing, greater potion of healing, superior potion of healing. So you all got whoever got the regular or the greater, just put that on yours. So I don't see so, supreme. Oh my, superior, it's right. only greater, superior, and supreme. So There's, right up here, I'll add yours to you for you. So it should be right above it. So I only got those three. So I'm adding greater, right? You taking a greater? Yeah. So you took a greater. Um, Diesel took a greater. Silk took a regular. Me a and I'm assuming, two regulars. Jen took a regular? No. Or I you took both regulars? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, said, I didn't want no potions. I didn't want no potions. Yeah. Can I give him one since now we know he ain't got no healing spells? That's up to yeah. y'all. Yeah, I'm fine for right now. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. So you Perfect got him. They're there. Did you add it to my shit? Because yeah. Okay. You put it in backpack or equipment? It's in your backpack. It could go in either one. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't have. I've I put one for you, so one is in your backpack and one's in your equipment. That shit is not showing. I Let me refresh because that's refresh, what. Yeah, because yeah. I I'm updated on my end, so you got to refresh your screen. Yeah. Okay. I was like, because that's what happened last time. Yeah. All right, so now, so okay. Yeah, I got. Okay, I got that with Tinkerbox. And then just when you use it, you'll click on it and then subtract one from it and go from there. Mm. Okay, so that's how that'll work. And I mean, so when it comes to potions, just a general, so you all know, if you decide to use a potion, it is an action to take a potion. So an action normally yeah. is an attack or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's an action to actually drink the potion, open it, drink it, and that's it, right? That is, that would be your turn, um, minus your movement and stuff like that. Okay. Mm. 
All right. So he gives you those. Um, he bids you all. He said, "Do you all have, do you have any questions? Anything else I can try to answer uh, where, for you all? Where can we get some some stuff for the road? What are you looking for? You know, like extra food, um, water. Uh, all of that. Skins. Yeah, you all have water skins. You all have rations. Um." So he's like that stuff that I you can pick up in the on your way to uh, when you get to your cart, the building that the carts are attached to, they do have some rations, extra rations, and water skins there uh, for you to take with you. Do I have any weapons? No, unfortunately, no. Nothing additional as of right now. So, uh, how much y'all backpack weigh, real quick? So we're gonna we're planning we're the way we're doing our campaign. There is no encumberment. There is no encumberment. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that part. I was gonna say because um my backpack sixty pounds. Man. Yeah, fifty nine point five. Yeah, that, that's that's why I just rounded it to sixty. Oh, I didn't know you. <laughs> Yeah. So no, yeah, don't worry about that. Um, in this campaign, in later campaigns, we may do it when we're trying to do it a little more gritty. But for right now, it's just for the first chilling. campaign we chose. Yeah, we just chilling. So, all right, all right. Anything else? I think we're good to go at this point. I can't think of anything else we need right no, now. I want a laser pistol. Let's make movements. All right, all right. So y'all head out. Wait, um, I think we should have a meal before we leave, so that we have our, you know, as much energy as possible. Of course, of course. Food. And he claps his hands, and the attendants go out, and you all sit there, and you all just kind of general talk. You can talk for a little bit while you're waiting for the food. If not, y'all can just kind of, you know, just general chit chat. Uh, food will eventually be brought. You all can eat. Um, is there anything you all want to say? Any conversations y'all want to have with each other? Or, you know, saying anything before while you're waiting or while you're eating? Hey, Jacoby, yeah. stop slapping me, nigga. <laughs> no. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. okay. Besides that. <laughs> Besides that? No. Okay. No, that, all no right. response. <laughs> Jacoby, <laughs> stop slapping me. No. Okay. No. All right. <laughs> All right. So after that, you all, you know, you go back to your your cart. You hook up the the wall park. You guys head out. Get your couple sets of rations. Um, I will say, you all get two days worth of rations, extra so and two days of water okay. to go with it. Um, okay. They said technically, from what he said, you can make the entire trip in one day, right? But it will be nighttime by the time you get there. Right. So, gotcha. Um, up to you how you all want to handle that. Or if you because you know, as far as y'all planning for attacks and things of that nature, um, but for right now, you guys are headed to that first encampment. So, uh, as you're going through, uh, who's doing well, who's 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 gonna guide the cart? Who's who's driving the cart? Uh, I can okay, give me a survival check. Survival. Survival. I'll give it to you with advantage because Yilna is, is with you all right now. Um okay. so she knows the way the route. Uh 18. 18? Oh yeah. Okay. Um go ahead and roll the second one just in case. I did. Okay. That was high. Okay. So yeah, okay. cool. No problem. It took, you know, a couple hours. It wasn't that long. Straight and narrow, straight shot. She took you through. She kind of avoided if y'all saw some of those mountainous ranges. She showed you how to get around them, where the right ravines were, stuff like that. You all made it through, no problem. So you get there, um, and as you get to the edge, you start seeing the tents in the distance. Mm-hmm. You notice that they're broken. Mm-hmm. Nothing seems to be standing upright. Okay. Oh my um, god! Why did I what? think about um, 
Mulan when we when they went to go. Yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> that is exactly what you see. That is exactly oh, what you nah. see. <laughs> it is torn to shreds. Like we're torn to shreds. Like a girl, we're fighting. <laughs> so right, you just stop. Y'all was singing and dancing, and then the music just <laughs> cut. Um, so you you stop and you get out. Um, but this is where you all are. This there clearly was a battle here. Right. Um, there's bodies in places. There's the weapons the laying the around. Uh, what do you all want to do? Uh, we should um, investigate. We need I was just about to say that. We need all to. Right. We all need to okay. investigate. Okay. Yeah. All right. So with that, because everyone's doing an investigation. Right. Um, is there anything specific? I want each of you to give me something specific you're looking for. Uh, either that or hold on, either that or you all can do one group <laughs> investigation check for what all of you find together. What do y'all want to do? Mm, investigation is pretty, pretty low plus. I could probably do a insight by myself, maybe the rest of them, because I got a plus five insight. Maybe the rest of them could do a group together. I got a plus no. It's either six. all of you together, or each of you individually look for something specific. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we, we, I think we should look for specific things that give. Okay. Us yeah, that's another. Okay. That works. Okay. So each okay. of you tell me one thing that you want to try to find out that you're uh, investigating. Since Jakaze said uh, survivors, I'll look for rations. Look for survivors. Yeah, I'll look. Okay, for so rations. you're doing survivors. You're looking for rations. Yeah, supplies. Supplies, okay. Supplies and rations. Uh, diesel or gin? Okay, um, I'm. Oh, go ahead. No, you got it. Go ahead. Okay, I'll search for. A, okay, we already got ration. Maybe I'll check to see if there's any like parts. Maybe some type. Maybe it could be some um, broken glass. Well, he's got supplies. He's got supplies. So that's all in that. Okay. I'll. Okay. Let me think about this a different way then. I can just search maybe if the. Well, my character being all about wind, maybe the wind feels funny or something like that. Maybe something feels okay off with the wind or the so oxygen. something in the wind, sense anything like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I'll look for tracks. Tracks. All right. Nice. I'll do that. I'll do that. Everybody, you need to look give for me sales. a uh, investigation roll. All right. All righty then. Let's see. Oh, that's seven. Okay. Investigation. Need something good. Ooh, 20. 20. Ooh. 20. 13. 13. Hey, fine. Shit. I got 21. 21. Uh, none of those were natural 20s, right? No. Ooh. Right. All right. All right. So, uh, as far as survivors, um, yeah, no, you you looking around, it's a pile of bodies just everywhere. Question. Um both moles and lions. Ooh, good question. Good question. Um yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. Now I know what the nose look like. Yeah. So both nose and lions. Um, and you would have known that before, though, because you're a hunter. You're bounty hunter. Fought them, bro. I know. You're I'm a bounty hunter. I, I'm, right. You'll see. You'll right. see later. You'll see later. Um, but yeah, so like nothing, nobody, like you You didn't see any any breathing or anything. Everybody really, it, they look dead. They look dead, dead. Um, Not dead, dead. But that, yeah, that's about all you're getting from that. As far as um, supplies go, as far as supplies go, um, I mean, you see the weapons that they had, you know what I mean? Some scimitars, yeah. Um, some spears. Um, you do rummage one body and find like some old meat rations, but they look, they look more like they they're not any good anymore. Right. Um, I mean, oh, and this happened a while yeah. ago, like roughly three weeks. So you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't be able to tell with that seven. That's the thing. So you, they're dead. It's not fresh. It ain't a fresh kill. But as far as how long, you wouldn't be able to tell. Okay. Um, as far as the the wins for Jen, 
Um, you're kind of and also you're taking off of the week, right? The last few days, mm-hmm. they haven't really been particularly windy from where you were. Like I said, you were only a couple hours away, right? So in general, they should be what you were experiencing the last couple of days, last day or two, should be what is was experienced here as well, right? Um, right. No heavy winds or anything like that. You look around, and there's no no real sand blown over the bodies, right? Um, it, it really looks like there's just kind of this decaying smell. Now, I will tell you that with what you found, yes, there is a bit of a decay smell in the air at this point, which means their bodies have been dead long enough at least for them to start decomposing. Right. Okay? So it's been a, a couple weeks now. It's been a couple weeks. So that kind of answers what Jay was looking for yeah. With he is by merging those two together, okay. Um, as far as tracks go, yeah, you find tracks everywhere lion tracks, knoll tracks, track tracks, your cart tracks. <laughs> lion track. There's tracks everywhere. It was, it was, a, it was a pretty decent sized squabble, right? Track. They was going, they was going at it. Um, Not a squabble. You do with that roll though, with the 21, you do notice tracks heading out in a southern direction, which is what you all were told is where they came from. You also noticed there were some tracks coming into the camp mm-hmm. from all sides of it. Damn, them niggas got ambushed. Um, the tracks that went south. Can I tell if they were dragging something? Um, I don't really think of that. <laughs> I mean, he got a 29. The best number. There was not a, like, there's not like a body drag, but it looks like there may have been a cart. Okay. So, like, you see, like, thin, like a thin reel, you know what I'm saying? The wheel... <laughs> Wooden wheel wagon wheel trail kinda. Now it is it is again, it's been it's been a little while. So this was in order for you to still see this, it was deep. Okay. All right. You see what I mean? Like yeah. it's been a while. So the winds kind of moved some of this around. So these whatever was in it, something is in it that was heavy. Right. To leave that tracks for this long. Okay. But yeah, you did find it. All right. Um, can we ask Yilna if she recognize if she recognizes anybody? Um. Well, yeah. Um. These are literally. Well, there's not all of them. And you all look around, and there's seven bodies. There I think there wasn't all of them. She didn't gas when we saw the dead bodies, so I figure her brother ain't there. So, She's not, she does not see her brother, yeah, but she crazy. says there were fourteen total. Damn, that's that came, um, including her brother, or or including with her brother? including her brother. Okay, okay. There were fourteen total here. I only see seven. Um. I don't know if they took the bodies. I don't know why they would take the bodies. Um, or if they're still alive. I don't know. if there's, you, I, I, But no, my brother is not among them. However, mm-hmm. and she kicks one of the bodies over. And this body, this dude was on roids. Dang. Like... They've all been pretty muscular build. You know what I mean? They're lying people. Mm-hmm. This dude was jacked, though. Like, he would have gave Diesel a run for his money. Dang. Mm. However, for, for this one to fall, Mom must have been here herself. Mama. The mom of the notes? Her, she goes by ma'am. Mom. Mom, mom, ma'am. That's just what they call her. I, I don't know. And it's M apostrophe 
A U M. Mom. Oh, okay. M apostrophe A U M. Um, but that's that's she she recently took over, is our understanding, and since then everything has changed. They don't they're not as reckless anymore. They're not as misdirected or unguided. They have it's almost as if she was sent for a reason. I I don't know. They got a strategy now. Uh, have any of you ever seen this mom before? Good question. No. no. Everyone, anytime she stepped on the battlefield, none have escaped. Oh. Uh oh. That's interesting. They like didn't that. tell us that. She none that. have escaped. Um, and she liked that. I don't and it's not it's not that she has been the one from what we understand. It's just her tactics are amazing. Hmm. Now, Diesel, I need you to give me a history check. History. Uh, that is a 19. Hey, my nigga on it today. <laughs> <laughs> So can can these star roll with me? Because yeah, <laughs> the name rings a bell. It tickles a bell. It doesn't ring it loud. It just kind of tickles it, like a wind chime on a, on a light breezy day. Damn, not the wind chime on a light breezy day. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's kind of right. That that's kind of that's the kind of the kind of recollection you have from that name. Okay. There's there's a there's a lord of the rings back home that you feel that that name was associated with, but you don't know why that that it seems to be triggering something, but you don't know why. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So. Um, but yeah, other than that, no. That, that that's kind of what you find. You get your your direction, and then. You all, um, what do you want to do? Hmm. Well, we don't know how long ago this attack happened. No. Um, is uh, what time is it? Uh, the day, yeah. You all, so I will tell you this. Um, you all were also given, and Yilna is kind of the person that's kind of giving you this as well. Uh, you all have been given ways to kind of tell time frame of the day here, because like we mm-hmm. said, it's pretty much overcast the entire time. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but from what she gives you, you, you're you're coming up around noon. Okay. All right. It's still it's still early in the day. And Yilin is like, if if we leave now, we can make it, we can make it bef- by dusk. We can make it to their encampment by dust to the caverns. But I mean the caves are their territory. Uh we aren't you I mean, supposed we are to be fully rested? Aren't you supposed to be going back to your dad? Take your ass home. Uh, we are fully rested. We could go now and, and surprise them. Yes? And you see her start reaching for mm-hmm. her blades. Hmm, my surprise attack is always a good idea in retrospect. It is something that can be worked on or can be used. It's not out there on a possibility. Uh, Jen understands. And there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's power in numbers, yes? Again, that is true. That is a true scene. I don't want her blood on my hands if something was to happen. Big sakes. Now she got to go home, bro. <laughs> so we're no pun intended. We're headed to the lion's den. Yep. <laughs> no, much. she's headed to the lion's den. But didn't you? No, I don't. How, do you? I. I can be of help. I know you all found me in a bad situation, but I really can be of help. It's not that we need you to report back what we saw here to let your father know what's going on. 
Yeah, the less people we have, the better the surprise attack is. You, you do speak truth. Smaller. And if smaller. you're able to get back to your father, who knows? Maybe you can come back and help with the backup. Right. Reinforcements. Fine. If you insist. But please, all she kind of looks at all of you. Please be careful. I feel like this is my fault in in some way. It is, but we're not gonna blame you. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> she looks so re- dejected. <laughs> she turns around. I I will I I will head head off. And she turns around and starts jogging and drops to all fours and takes off running through the uh back where y'all came. Be right. She will be right. <laughs> no, better, she be better, right. better her feelings in her throat. You know what? That's a shirt. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, I'm gonna leave that alone because that, that can go 15 different ways. Anyway, yeah, exactly. stop. Jay, <laughs> <laughs> Jay stop. <laughs> anyway. All right. So, the other way is better to throw. But see, stop. There we go. I knew it. So Someone y'all take it, it off. I know, right? Uh, I'm off? cool with take it off. Um, before we take off, what is our plan of surprise? Right. Who's our tactician? Good question. I don't. I usually just run in. Um, as we get closer, <laughs> well, maybe okay. we can come up with a plan. I may have. Will we idea. actually see it? Ooh, okay. I mean, I've seen enough nose to change it to one. Okay. Element of surprise. Mm-hmm. Let's see what information I can get. Yeah, our t- and, you can, yeah, our tingling can go and, and investigate ahead of time. That could give us even more of a drop. So it's Only not thing. a polymorph. That's the thing. It's not a polymorph. Aww. So you 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 still have to look cute. Like you know, what I'm saying you can change like skin color. Eye color, stuff like that. Boo! But you I'll can't turn the into the creature. Yeah. Oh, so it's not like Ben Ten. Yeah, it, that would be a polymorph spell. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. That's on my list to grab. Yeah, you know. I did grow up in an assassin village. I got a couple stealth tactics. So. We know we're headed to the den. Of course, they're going to be guards because they know they attacked the um, a camp. So I think we should. Diesel, your big ass got to stay back farther. <laughs> <laughs> yep. An elephant cannot yeah. be sneaky. Uh, All right. When we get close to the camp, I feel like me he and. He should be the lookout. If he's bigger than him, maybe he can see guy. ahead of us. Uh. I think me and him should be able to try to infiltrate because we're probably the stealthier one. Um, y'all two should sit back and I, we got to find some way to signal them if we need them to come in, though. So. Does anybody have a like a message spell or anything? Um, let me do I just found that I can't change to I can't change the other being, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nope. No message spells. Uh hold on, wait, wait. Uh lightning boy. You, you ain't learning. Oh, yeah, like I'm reading. I'm reading. The man ain't like carrying yet. Just when y'all see big lightning, no y'all gotta come through. <laughs> no, nah, not at his level. Oh boo. Oh boy, maybe wait. How f- Okay, so I have, I have. I mean, a you got spell. thunder wave. I do, and I also have chromatic orb, which True. has a range of ninety feet, and I can throw like a little lightning spear at towards them. Once yep. they see it, then they know to come. Okay. I mean, you also have thunder clap, which can be heard up to hundred feet away. 
Yeah, but that would warn yeah, that would be that, that would, would ruin the element of fire. Yeah, exactly. So hear me out. Hear, yeah. hear me out. Hear me out. One is for like when we need them to just come through. But the thunderclap would be if like we're in trouble. Like if you right. get caught, not me. Right. If you get caught. <laughs> All right, so, so if we hear on how y'all want to do it, you know. So oh, if good. if um, let me think. If we in trouble for sure, then the thunderclap. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll probably throw. What do we want to alert them to, uh, Jakaze? Um. So if we find that they have prisoners, we we'll alert them for that. If we find the um the remaining seven, um, and if we get into something where we can't get out, okay. So if we get into something that we can't get out, I'm a thunderclap. If we find the people, I'm gonna throw a lightning one. And what was the other joint you said, uh, Jakaze? If if they got prisoners, yeah. And we also need to um see about finding a way. If we can get them in or uh, a weak point in their defenses, because they're so in a the case. I think y'all are missing out on one key thing that y'all have at your advantage. Y'all have at your disposal. What's that? You got a druid. Druid. He's talking about me. Oh, you're a druid. That's I be forgetting because nigga, you an elephant. <laughs> He's a barbarian druid. Mm. So he has wild shape. He can turn into a small creature. Nigga. Oh, I, I'm not, I, I really forgot this shit because he's an elephant, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I'm with that's Silk. what makes it so crazy. I'm with Silk on that one. I forgot too. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, honestly, I forgot too. I don't even like using wild shape, but I guess I could do yeah. it. Yeah, irony. An elephant forgets he can do something. Hey, <laughs> like, why would an elephant want to turn into a mouse? Think about it. Like, you that's know what, what he can turn into right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so if I turn into a mouse, I can at least go in and scope the place out and get a rundown of it, and then I can report back to everybody, and then we can go from there. What do you guys think about that? That's a good yeah. idea, yeah. And then uh, we can make another plan outside of that. Yeah. Wait, but um, you said you, you said nose are like hyena type. Uh yes, so no, yeah, so that should work because I don't I don't think they really gonna be trying to eat mice. They probably need something bigger. Than yeah, they, they would need like about a small and pumas, meerkat human size thing. You, it, they would need something that's got some body to it. Yeah, so he now if they see it, yeah, like, they might, but they're not. Yeah, normally they're not gonna go after something that small. Right. Um, let me see here though, because you got there's a list of beasts that you can turn into. So let me see. Uh, so anything small you can think of, you know, baboon, deer, badger, owl, nigga, well, no, nothing that flies, small, nigga. weasels. Um, this, this nigga crabs. said anything small and then said baboon, bro. Yeah, <laughs> we, small. You, small. What baboon you see was small, nigga? They're smaller than him now. Right, yeah. they're smaller than him. Right, but nigga, elements. Are um, fucking baboons coming. They you could do that. a giant badger, which is me, uh medium size. Nigga, don't be picking shit with the word giant in it. It's not. It's not <laughs> that big, but it's big enough. I'm nigga. What well, you gotta remember I, the size of creatures in this world. But that's do the you thing. Remember what I just said, which was. Oh, they not gonna eat mice because that's too small. Yeah, they, I'll probably stick with. I mean, I can't to, stick with anything that flies. I'm just letting you know what I'm letting you know what options you got. You know what I mean? So you know, uh, <laughs> like a mastiff. Like, he trying to get this nigga ate, bro. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, a blink dog. You could do that. What a blink dog? Uh huh. They can teleport. Oh, you can teleport. Yeah. Niggas could teleport. But I can't change I'm starting to believe you just an OP-ass nigga, bro. Nah. So with, with uh, Wild Shape, 
as you level it up, you can change into larger and larger creatures. Ah, I see. So, but he can only do it twice. Yeah. And he can't do anything but that creature's stuff. So it's not like he's got, you know what I mean? Oh, so it's the specific creature that can teleport. Right, the creature oh, okay. can teleport. Okay, okay. Right. Because okay. I'm like, nigga, come on, bro. No, no, no. It's a blink I mean, dog. That's what they do. Spot, but I'm like, nigga, you making this nigga. <laughs> no, no. Like a boar, <laughs> axe beak. So yeah, you, you get the abilities of the animal. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, but as of right now, you can't do anything flying or anything that swims. So, okay. Well, he's, he's man, that blink dog might be a little too big. Otherwise, yeah, that's gonna be a decent size. Yeah. I'm probably, I'll probably stick with the mouse. Okay, go with the mouse. I guess we got to get there first, though. Yeah, mm, makes sense. <laughs> All right, so you are gonna turn into Zerat. That's what you will be. Like um, you do have dark vision, so that'll help you. Okay. Uh, you do have a bite attack that you can do uh, if you happen to hit it. You will have one hit point, though. So if you get hit, you turn back into an elephant. Basically, anytime you have any any polymorph or wild shape stuff like that, if yeah. you all get those spells later, you get the hit points of the animal, and then whatever damage you take, we subtract those hit points first. And then the rest of them carry over to your regular form. You just basically turn back into yourself, wherever you may be. So if you're in a hole as a mouse and you get hit, you turn into an elephant in that small mouse hole. Wonderful. Which can be dangerous for you. <laughs> oh, no. Think about that. <laughs> you can get yourself some compromising situations, I'm just saying. I'll keep All that right. in mind. All right, Duly keep that in mind. It. Duly noted. Right. So, uh, so you guys head down and you head towards um, the caves. And I think right there is where we're going to end tonight. You all heading into battle, basically. Uh, it'll end up being the evening hours when you get there. Uh, basically, the sun will just be about to set by the time you all get there. All so, right. So all right. So I think that's a good, oh, good stop. Uh, and then next time we go, it'll be the actual. Hopefully, we may. You never know what'll happen. You might. You might make it. You might not. We might find something else that happens. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows these days? We might find a new. Maybe find a new lioness. Y'all might get lost. <laughs> Someone might get hysteria. <laughs> Right, that no, you did not do that. Did you really just say that? Yes, <laughs> you made it too easy. died of dysentery. <laughs> you you that was, that was too easy. I'm on Dragon Ball Z. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> all right, job, but yeah, no, I appreciate everybody sticking with us. Um, hope you all are enjoying it. We are enjoying ourselves as we play, we so yeah, <laughs> hope y'all enjoy yourselves. Okay. Uh, this is our first run through. This is my first large DM campaign. Um, so this is interesting for me because this is like me creating my own world, not using a pre-scripted thing. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be, this has been interesting. Uh, and this is most of their first time playing. Yep. So this is most of their first time playing. So That's if you all so are OP. interested, <laughs> then let us know. Um if you if you can be around for a campaign or two for for a, uh, an episode or two, let us know. You know, what I'm saying we're always looking to have you know guest appearances for people and stuff like that. So keep keep uh, keep us mm -hmm. in touch. Oh, we have a new blog website that is up and going. Um, it is still linked to the main page, which is panda of pandemonium .com, So you can pull it up from there. But it is the Pandemonium Pulse um, that is our blog site that we've got going as well so any updates or um topics of anime gaming tech that revolves around it motivational stuff meditational stuff you'll see blogs about all those kinds of things on there um as well as any topics that we may have talked about on the show 
if there's anything in additional information that I may come up, for example, there will be one about Red Hulk from a show we did before that'll end up popping up. You know what I mean? If we talk about it, you may see something there about it. Um, or any news clips or stuff like that that we may talk about on the show. You may end up seeing blog posts about it there. All right. Well, you all enjoy any uh body got anything to say before we roll out? Oh, I got uh, some news. Shoot. So uh y'all looking at the new hired TA of FIU. Okay. Oh, that's what's up. All right, man. Congrats. 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 My master's for fucking free. Nice. Ooh. All right. Oh, that there is you awesome. Go. Congrats. With that being said, much we go off Miami. Too, we're saying we're both have. Oh, yes. It, it is in Miami. So. Oh, word? Yeah. Yeah. So now we got to plan a trip to Miami. Now we got to fucking. <laughs> let y'all know when I'm settled in and then. Hey, all right. We're not going around hurricane season, just so y'all know. Yeah. No, that's definitely not gonna happen. No. All right, all right. Well, sounds like a plan. We have to figure out some cons down in Miami and post up. All right. Well, again, appreciate all y'all from coming through, and we will catch y'all next time. Hopefully, as long as nothing goes wrong, we'll have a regular show next week. I don't think there's anything going on as of now. So it should be fine, but we will see. Um, I'll put it up on Twitter for for not having a show next week. I will make sure that gets posted um, for you all, so that way you all are aware. Okay. All right. Well, you all have a great rest of your evening. Enjoy. Get some rest. Hope the week goes well. We out. Stay blessed.